to be something there had to be something it can't just be what is happening here that is definitely not what the YouTube uh that is showing I just just like oh man I got everything in order Woo! what thing Be this will work? Ah, there we go. We got it. No! I've never had this happen before. <laughs> At least no one could spoil. <laughs> uh. <laughs> A 
that's good. Hold on, I I know I'm gonna go back to see a few of your, especially the first timers. Uh, just want to see if I can get this to work. Maybe. I don't. I have no idea why this is happening. That's one of the great things about YouTube. Um, with their their chats, usually really really good when it comes to this. But like, there aren't usually issues. Pop out. Browser. This. Oh, yeah. Shit, I need to add the. Oh. Subscription! If you guys broke it, because there's... No! <laughs> it was fine. All right, well, I'm not going to sit here all night and fiddle around with this. That wants to be stupid. Yeah, fix it, Tar. What are you doing? What have I... Yeah, so um, there is going to be uh, some... It's been a while since I have uh, done a stream without using headphones. So we'll, we'll have to work on the audio, the audio balancing just a bit. Unfortunately, there's no music on the... On the menu screen, so there's I can't really test it without getting into the game. What I've heard about this game is that it's the only one rated M, and it's very divisive, kind of like Apollo Justice. So, and I I know we have a new. I know we have a new uh, person. I think her name's Athena. You're going to look for... She's on the damn game cover, so that was kind of impossible to avoid, unfortunately. Oh, God. It's already... All my first-timers, check in. I know there are a few of you, and I can't go up high enough to acknowledge you. Acknowledge you. Oh, I'm I'm very interested in why it has an M rating. I'm very interested. I don't like M ratings for the sake of M ratings. Like we have gore for the sake of gore. Like unless you're Mortal Kombat, that shouldn't really be a thing. But more mature. Uh like adult content is really interesting, especially since a lot of shit in court does have that, at least in my experience, because I do a lot of family court stuff. Rated M for murderous intent. I will not press Alt F4, but thank you for the suggestion. I'm sure it was done with the best of intentions. 
games can still be very good if even if they have very low points. So I, I won't, you know, it'll just depend on how much of the game is a low point. You like Spirit of Justice better. Spirit of Justice is going to be interesting because that's a long ass game. Uh, quick question: How many? How much DLC is there to this game? I need. I'm not sure if it's included. It might be included with the mobile thing, but just one. Okay. I wonder if it's included already. I used to. I don't remember any good lawyer jokes. Like, I hear them, they go in one ear out the other. I've heard some pretty good ones. I just don't remember what they were. I know if I'm ever asked by a cop, how many lawyers does it take to screw in a light bulb? I respond, I don't know. It depends on how many cops planted it there. Is... Is the DLC Does the DLC happen Is it like one of those anime movies Where it happens in between Somewhere Kind of Instead of after the final case Because I fucking hate that So yes actually Thank you for asking I would like to know Because I would like to play it Where it's supposed to be played Between case two and three. Okay. So if I can play the DLC case, because I guess that's part of it. I can only play what the game lets me play. If I can't play it till the end, then I can't play it till the end. But Well, where do you think it happens, Strep? How was that? Was that loud? That looks okay. You think it's loud? Yes. That? Does that sound good? Or a bit lower? Now we have too quiet. Which means this can literally be the only place where it's not too loud or too quiet. Unless it's impossible to be in the middle. Oh yeah, there. Wish they give us a... Yeah, they don't give us a test for the background music. Turn vibration on. It doesn't actually do anything. Unfortunately, I don't have any more orange candies. This is why I haven't done it. All right, let's let's start. I'm doing good, Anthony. How about you? New member alert. I mean, thank you, but I've had that for like what? 
a little while now, right? Maybe you've only seen the Amber one on uh, uh, Twitch. We're using the same clip, but I use Amber from Genshin Dancing. All right, you guys ready? Well, that was a bad start. That can't be good. Oh no, wouldn't it suck if the judge got caught? Is that too dark? These are dark times where the law has been reduced to rubble, and it's up to us to restore it to its former glory. Yeah, I know what you mean. It looks like your target finally decided to make a move. Oh, he put his beanie down. Don't you worry. I've got a trusty new partner on board. Did technology skyrocket? With us for half a year, though I can hardly believe it. That Wendy Lee. Anyway, her power will be our greatest weapon. <laughs> that is exactly what Wendy Lee. Are you all right, Miss? Arguably the goat. Yeah, it's for this very reason I returned. Time to bring it to an end. Got the vest. Shades of Apollo, Shades of Godot, possibly both. Maybe he always had the vest and just never showed it. This sounds a lot similar to, uh, a lot more similar to Great Ace Attorney than some of the prior, than any of the prior things. Got that gold pimp chain. What is this? So he was in the explosion. He got caught in the explosion. That was some anime shit on a hundred thousand trillion. <laughs> the best thing about bombs is how they erase and destroy without discretion. Now all I have to do is pin everything on that little girl. For I am E.G. Mine. Well, they are still eyeless. That's good to know. What was that, CJ? You mean downscale my webcam so that you can see me better? 
you want it downscaled, right? Because this is what upscaled looks like. Yeah, see, I knew we'd have some Trigun fans here. Some people of culture. Oh, God. Too much. Come on, get me. Why did I make that? Oh, fiddle with my life parameters a bit. Sure, I'll just get right on that. That seems okay, but the background music in the last scene seemed louder. You did not miss the trial in a matter of 20 minutes. So how does what work? Blue stacks? Yeah, for those of them I'm playing, I'm emulating this on blue stacks. Paid for the game because it just takes what your Apple Google Play or your Apple your Google Play account and then just plays the game on your PC. Yeah, right, Tom. Okay, so what I had in mind for her was a little. I don't know. I see her and I think Southern accent. I certainly was not thinking Wendy Lee when I saw her character model. So, uh... <laughs> My best Wendy Lee impression. to the menu. Nope. Um, the Mew voice is just Barbara voice. Uh, the Mew voice is just Emma's voice. And I don't want to give somebody that voice when it's possible Emma is in this game. At least either this game or next game. So, Dahlia was something like this. A lot of was something like this. So maybe we go something a little in between that? Something a little less gruff than Lada, but a little more powerful than Dahlia. Just because I see her and I thought Southern. I worry that if I do a British voice, it'd be too much like Maya. Have Lucy voice her. Okay. Let, let, let's 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 throw, let's try out the first few voice lines and see uh see see how we're feeling about it. 
Mm. Nope. Not feeling nervous at all. It's amazing what a girl can get used to. Even a tense atmosphere like this is no biggie. More of a less accent. You doing okay, Athena? Random male voice, probably. Oh, you doing okay, Athena? Oh, Apollo. Yep, doing great. Like, ho hum, ho, like, hum a little tune great. Oh yeah, well that's good to hear. Although, I could have sworn I heard your voice crack for a second there. Shut up, Cyclops. <laughs> Okay, I won't be mean. Feel bad for Apollo. But game didn't even start and he was already destroyed. Oh. Whew. Oof. I'm that transparent, huh? Cracking the. Nah, my voice isn't cracking. Nerves of steel here, I tell you. This is Apollo Justice. He's a fellow lawyer at the office I work for. Apollo's the leader for the defense on this case. But I'm gonna be there at the bench with him, doing what I can to help out. Oh, okay, that's a really interesting way to, um, to introduce whatever character. Instead of you being the attorney, you're helping the, the lead attorney. I do whatever it takes to defend Juni. Kind of like what happened at the beginning of Great Ace Attorney. Kind of. But we were technically the lead attorney, but we really weren't. But we kind of had to be. She's nerves of steel. He's cords of steel. Speaking of steel, how are you holding up? That explosion really did a number on you. I'm just happy that you're okay, Athena. Although, I can't pretend I have no connection to this case. That's why I'm gonna see it that Juniper's name is cleared. Apollo looks like that caused, like that he tried to fight the devs for taking his main character status away after one game. They're like, ow. Well, so it's on, it, hmm. Was he involved in the incident that led to this case? Is this where he got his injuries? In which case... Let's get it! Let's get it! Let's get it! Let's get it! Let's go! In which case, then, we have a similar situation to all the times... I mean, Apollo's actually already had it happen. Phoenix or Apollo have essentially been witnesses and still represented someone in the incident. And I'm sure you feel much the same way. Got that right. I won't rest until Juni is completely cleared of all suspicion. Must be a friend of hers. Uh, Juni. Um, fuck, another girl's voice? I'm assuming it's a girl. I'm not sure I've ever met a dude named Juniper. Uh, I can't, I don't want to do Trucy. I don't want to do Maya. I don't want to do Pearl. I don't want to do Emma. I'm really running out of girl voices here. My, my, my range is pretty limited. Fuck, I'm trying to remember what I gave, uh, what's her name's friend? Because that would be a good voice, but I don't even remember what I gave her. In the first case of uh, Resolve. Give her the villain voice? Why would I fuck it? Yeah, Ray. God, what is... 
I mean, thank you to my mods for doing such a good job, obviously, but Jesus, what is going on already? I feel like for the Great Ace Attorney, we were really, really good. And for most of investigations, too. Thank you, Techie. Also, thank you to Ivan, too. Not sure if I said that earlier. Do a Russian girl's voice. I guess I did that for what's her face in Apollo Justice. Or not Apollo Justice, uh, yeah, Apollo Justice. Apollo Tina. No. 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 No, 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 no. Thank you for doing this for me. Junie! Oh, wow. That actually looks pretty good. I wasn't expecting much from these graphics, honestly. Excuse me. Let me down all of my Allegra right now, because that's making me want to sneeze. Coughing fits whenever I get nervous. This kind of thing never happens at <coughs> home in the forest, though. This is Juniper Woods. She's my dear, dear childhood friend, and she's also our client for this case. The news keeps repeating that Junie is the alleged bomber. Well, I mean, that's true. It is alleged. But that's ridiculous. There's no way Junie would do anything like that. Well, again, you could say it's ridiculous that she's a bomber, but technically, in this case, she is the alleged bomber. So it's not really ridiculous so much more as it is legally correct. <laughs> Bombing people with pollen. She is my worst enemy, like no joke. Even more so than the judge. Nobody could bring me to my knees quicker than her and her fucking pollen. I brought you a little snack, Dina. Just a little something from my garden. Hey, thanks. So, um, is this an orange or a tangerine? I don't think it matters. She is actually my nemesis. Actually, my nemesis. Like, she is the antithesis of Twain. Prefers to live in the forest instead of the city. Loves to sniff pollen. And just goes around giving people oranges because she just loves them. I, I became the prosecutor. <laughs> I guess I need to get some orange candies again, huh? Corporate Twain might have to make an appearance here if I end up snapping. It's an orange. It's, it's an orange, my grandma says. That orange is the worst color in existence. Okay, I'll... I'll I'll read it as it's supposed to be read. Uh, orange is the color of strength and endurance. That is not true. Your grandmother's an idiot. Oh, I get it. Strength of the trial, right? Junie, you're always so good to me. Except for the times you try to kill me by feeding me oranges. Jeez, look at me standing here clutching 
and orange in my chest with tears in my eyes. No, well, don't you worry. We'll be so powerful in there, they won't know what hit them. Right, Apollo? Yeah, that's right. Come what may, this is one trial we just can't lose. Never mind. I thought something interesting was going to happen. Instead, Apollo just passed out. Apollo! Apollo! <sighs> Seems I haven't recovered from my grievous wounds from when the courtroom was bombed. Blood seeping through his bandages. One of his wounds must have reopened. All this time he's trying to put on a brave face, but he was really overdoing it. You know, that's actually... It's a double-edged sword. On one hand... One for the future counter. I, I should get a future counter. We should figure out how, what the best way to do that would be. Um, on one hand, it's really badass and noble, right? I'm going to do it. I'm going to fight through my injuries. On the other hand, your hubris is potentially putting your client at risk. Most realistic part of the game so far. Yeah, a lot of this happens very often without bombs blowing up, by the way. Paula got bills to pay. Are they even getting paid? Do we know that yet? It's never been confirmed. I assume they just stay afloat by getting government grants or something. Mr. Justice. Huh? The trial is about to start, sir. Please proceed to the courtroom. What, now? But Apollo's in no state to defend. <sighs> Ah, uh, I have to defend Juniper. What are we going to do? The trial's about to start with or without us. That is true. Although... We might be... Well, okay. In, in this world, we're not getting it pushed back. IRL, we could probably get this pushed back. There's only one other option I can think of at a time like this. Even if I called him now, he'd never get here in time. Dude, they would wait. If your attorney is actually grievously injured and bleeding through his bandages, I think they would wait until another attorney were to come to... Oranges ruin everything. See how unlucky oranges are? It's all because of the orange. She had never brought up anything about the orange. His gut wouldn't have retched so much that it tore open a stitch on his body. No. Liar. He asked him. He was willing to grant him a continuance in Liar Liar. The problem is that Jim Carrey couldn't lie, so he said he could still go on. Yeah, there, there's no way they'd get fucked like this, IRL. No, wait, there's something else I can do. Apollo, give me all the evidence for the case. Huh? What are you going to do? Bailiff? Yes, miss? The defense would like to submit a substitution of attorney peti petition. Okay, this is interesting. Um, so I've been, a, I've been a part of cases. I've never had, this has never had to happen for me personally, but I've been a part of cases where there has been a substitution of attorney within the same firm. And at least here in circuit court, you don't really have to submit anything formal. Especially if it's just substitution for like one day, they'll just note that blank attorney is in for whoever was the original attorney. And like that, 
that'll almost like never be a problem, especially if it's again within the same firm. You wouldn't have to petition the court for it. Personal preferences? What do you mean? It's not a personal preference. It's an actual, like, legal... It's a matter of whether it's actually a legal procedure or not. Guys can't unban. As long as I can find him. Our ban list is uh there's a lot of bots on there. Like purple Kool-Aid in the hood. Sixty nine mega dot com. Couple people multiple times. Oh, wait, do I have to? I don't think I would ever try that. That sounds too sweet. Like, way too sweet. Who was the prosecutor? Were they injured? And I'm not... I don't really care about the precedent within this world right now. I only care about that from a narrative standpoint. But this is obviously... People don't come here for me to go, hey, so in the Ace Attorney world, what would happen? Oh, they want to know, hey, in the real world. He was missing. Yeah, then it's very unlikely that the judge would simply... Because normally a judge would... uh. Uh, normally a judge would they'd attempt to contact the attorney first of all before anything and if the prosecution office said I don't know what happened and they said we can't get a hold of them and it seems like something might have happened judge isn't going to go forward with the case they're likely going to say well I'm not sure what happened like at the very least I want to know that they fucked up so I can reprimand them later in front of everybody. <laughs> but then if something really happened, then they wouldn't do that. They'd just say, wow, that sucks. Yeah, if the attorney has a record and reputation for being like that, then it's on them. There are some attorneys like that. Lena, you're not seriously. You just concentrate on getting better. I'll defend Juni. All by yourself? <laughs> Athena, stop for a second think about what you're saying. You've never once taken a case on alone before, right? No, hey, prob... No, hey, prob... What? No, hey, problema? Is she, like, Hispanic or something? Is, is that, like, Spanish? No, hey, pro... 
No hay problema. I can handle it, I think. But I guess it's really up to you, Junie. Would you be okay with me taking over? Uh, sure. I believe in you, Athena. And that's enough for me. <laughs> Still likes putting the index finger to the forehead. You're worried for me, aren't you? To be honest, I'm pretty nervous too. I think my heart might just burst out of my chest. But you're, but you're in no shape to stand at the bench now. You'll just have to leave it to me. All right, I can see your mind's made up already. Anyway, so anyway, hate it that I can't be there. But I know you'll give your utmost to defend Juniper. Bet I will, rest assured of that. And if you fail, she'll just be found guilty and probably given the death penalty. So, you know, no pressure. Sykes? Because it's not the other word, right? Which would sound very much like a slur. My name is Athena Sykes. I'm still just a newbie, but I'm a lawyer. This is only the second time I've taken the lead in a defense case. It'll be the first time I stand up there alone, though. But I have to do this. I'm definitely not about to let anything bad happen to Junie. Okay, so not that she's not courageous for this and maybe i should just give myself more credit but i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna throw a bit of uh cold water on her here it's not really all that interesting like my very first client i had to go and represent him in a contested hearing not a trial mind you but it was a contested hearing Meaning it's kind of like a trial, but the rules are a little more lax. Um, less than a month. No, it was about two weeks? Two, three weeks. I was appointed the case. They pushed it back two or three weeks. They gave me the, the judge gave me the case. And I represented him on my own. I didn't have anybody with me. I'm sure that happens with a lot of solo practitioners. I just, it's not super impressive. Wasn't preponderance though. It was clear and convincing because it was juvenile court, which is the pseudo civil criminal court it is super fun to have to figure that shit out. Yeah, and she's been practicing for six months. Like, she better be able to fucking get up there and do it on her own. It is, it is a murder trial, though. So, I will say that there will be some attorneys that would shrink from that, to be sure. Some people never want to litigate, and if the thought of litigation makes them piss their pants. But it's really not as bad as people make it seem. Oh, that's fun. So we know there's a gallery behind us now. Court is now in session for the trial of Juniper Woods. The defense is ready, Your Honor. <laughs> is it sad that that's not his worst look? Like, I expected pay, but I didn't expect that. Like, this is significantly better than his Apollo Justice look. The prosecution is also ready, Your Honor. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> and what is the meaning of this? I was under the impression that Mr. Red Monkey will be my opponent today. 
While that's incredibly disparaging, I shall have to look into reprimanding you later and sanctioning you for unnecessarily attacking another attorney. Yes, well, a substitution of attorney petition was submitted just a few moments ago due to the explosion in the courthouse yesterday. Yesterday! I, you know what? I didn't even think about that. I knew Apollo was hurt, but he still, it still hadn't healed because it had been a pretty short period of time. But I actually did not think, oh yeah, it probably happened yesterday because that's how they do shit here. Wow, what a monster. But also, again, hubris could have fucked over his client if he decided to defend somebody in less than stellar condition. I see, I see. Not at all surprised you used that excuse to run away. Go oh, caught in an explosion? A <laughs> likely excuse. <laughs> With me as an adversary who wouldn't want to feign illness in order to escape. What? The nerve of that guy. I'm gonna give him peace of my mind. Well, if I wasn't so nervous. Ah, that arrogant jerk. You arrogant jerk! No! Widget! Is my hearing getting worse? I could have sworn I heard that defense say something. The defense say something just now. No, you didn't hear anything at all. Especially not from me. <laughs> How odd, I could have sworn I also heard something. Oh, that would be my indispensable partner, Widget. Us in the law field all know about widgets. So that's actually a pretty, pretty clever name for it in relation to the world of law. Once you get into law school, everything's a fucking widget. Is what allowed? Widgets mean anything. It, it means anything. Like I have a widget. It could, you could be talking about a house, just real property. Uh, a lawnmower. Just, widget is the base term for anything. Oh, is would this be allowed? I have no idea t to the extent that this is like, if it's just something that parrots her. I mean, no, it wouldn't be allowed because it'd be annoying, but not because of the tech itself. Widget might be the trade secret behind the meaning of life, the universe, and everything. Or your copyrighted theory, or, uh, that. Um... Words not coming to me right now. But, yeah, basically. He sometimes blurts out what I'm thinking. <laughs> well then. If that's the case, then it's a clear contradiction to what you just stated. Contradiction? You just stated that you said nothing. However, if that device you begin. said what you're thinking. Then you indeed said I was, what was it? Elegance at work? No, actually, you are accusing her of a thought crime. If you do indeed acknowledge that it reads her thoughts instead of what she actually says. Beep! Actually, it was you're a good jerk. At any rate, what does it matter if it's a red monkey or a yellow monkey facing me? No fresh out of law school rookie can defend this witness. Six months out is not fresh out of law school. Mr. Payne, shut the fuck up. Let us get back to the case. Of course, Your Honor. I'm more than ready to show this little girl why they call me the rookie humiliator. Isn't it humiliated by rookies? That's what I knew. That's what I know, man. I knew it. He really is an arrogant jerk. Arrogant jerk! 
Miss Sykes, if you continue to insult the prosecution, I will remove you from this court. Yeah, how about you go after him too, Judge? I'm very sorry, it's just a knee-jerk reaction. Now then, Mr. Payne, your opening statement, if you please. Thank you, Ronner. <laughs> now then. The incident occurred yesterday here at this very courthouse in courtroom number four. At that time, the trial for a certain bombing was being held in the court in courtroom number four. Yes, uh, the judge would also not be presiding over this, given that he was presiding over that case, too. And Mr. Justice was there as the lawyer for the defense. The bomb that was being presented as evidence suddenly went off during the trial. Yeah, I mean, it was a different courtroom in this courthouse. That, I mean, that's fine. Maybe he thinks monkey's a compliment. Oh, I enjoy monkeys at the zoo, so I thought, you know, that that was a compliment. I consider them highly intelligent creatures whom I frankly enjoy interacting with. Wish somebody called me a monkey. It was a terrible incident and courtroom number four was completely destroyed. Fortunately, we were able to start evacuation procedures before the explosion occurred. Just a few seconds more and it would have turned into a horrific loss of human life. But there was, in fact, one death, was there not? That is correct, Your Honor. The courtroom number four was examined after the blast. The body of Detective Candace Arm was discovered. Is the E silent there? Yeah, they really could have used a Canadian judge here. Can disarm? Can disarm? I don't know, Judge. What can disarm do? She was to take the stand as a witness later in the trial. I suppose she wasn't able to evacuate in time. What a terrible tragedy. I must admit, I stumbled at least 10 times myself before I was able to escape. I'm shocked you were able to get out. Maybe the court sh should see getting to you, oh, wait, maybe the court should see to getting you even shorter robes. The victim's body was found near the entrance to the courtroom. They suspect she stayed until the very end to help guide this, the others out safely. Your Honor, allow me to submit as evidence the victim's autopsy report and details about the bomb. I'm a moron. I completely forgot about the bomb when I was thinking about her name. Can disarm, disarm the bomb. Fucking moron. This is not gonna be a great uh, trial. This is, this is not gonna be a great trial. What the Jesus fuck? Jesus fucking, are you kidding me? What the fuck is this? Yeah, the judge offering testimony. That, that's not a problem or anything. Okay, I know how this works. All evidence for the trial is, filled, is filed in the court record. When I want to check something, I just tap the court record panel in the upper right of my head. I better take a peek later. My my brain, my brain space. Now then, please call the accused to the witness stand. Oh, we're just going straight to the defendant, huh? Okay. Defendant, are you feeling all right? You're looking a bit pale. I'm so sorry, I was feeling a bit weak when I first arrived here at the courthouse. Stop doing that. It is actually hurting my nose. Like, I feel that burning sensation whenever she does that. But I, I, I'm alright. 
Junie's really giving it her all. I better make sure I do the same. <laughs> we could please proceed. Your name and occupation, defendant? Juniper Woods. I'm a high school student. Miss Woods, can you confirm you were in the courthouse on the day in question? Yes, I came to know Apollo Justice through my friend Tina. <laughs> and so, I was there yesterday to watch his trial and lend my support. Wow, stop doing that. Something's wrong. Junie's really scared. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Did you know I'm also known as the defendant, the defendant humiliator? Objection. Relevance. Looks like I have yet another chance to show everyone how I earned that moniker. <sighs> Does this arrogance know no bounds? I have to protect Junie no matter what. Hey, you arrogant uh, prosecutor Payne. What is it? You want me to demonstrate why I'm known as the Rookie Humiliator instead? Deep breaths, Athena. Don't let him get to you. Prosecutor Payne, Junie's telling the truth. Mr. Justice also backed up her claim when we saw him in the defendant lobby. Trust me, bro. And Junie, he said that he was glad to get the lotus root you gave him, too. Incidentally. He was. My grandma said lotus root is good for your eyes. You know, since he only has one eye now. He needs to make sure that that one's healthy as can be. She says they could even help you see into the future. Uh, oh, they can? Uh, then that's the perfect present for a lawyer. And if that's true, I guess you must not have eaten them. <laughs> yeah, right. Hmm, a sweet meat girl like this blowing, blowing the courtroom to bits? I must say, it's very hard to believe. Objection! You can't object. just making a comment I don't necessarily think it's an appropriate comment but now now your honor don't let her seemingly innocent appearance fool you the defendant had a motive for committing this crime that's not true I don't have any kind of motive and I didn't even know the lady who was killed but you knew a lady was killed! <laughs> yeah, you mentioned that earlier. Oh, oh, yeah. I admit the investigation didn't turn up any connection between the victim and defendant. However, that doesn't matter. Connections are irrelevant. Evidence is irrelevant. What the fuck? The only thing that does is that her objective was the destruction of courtroom number four itself. It depends, uh, King. It depends on exactly what they're doing. Him making that comment, it, it is favorable to her, but it's more of like, I don't know. For some reason to me, it doesn't seem as bad as some of his other shit that he said before. Maybe because it's so early. Like, he's just like, um, because I mean, like, think about it in an actual, def uh, criminal trial where you see this little meek girl who's crying her eyes out and is a high schooler. Doesn't sh seem like she can lift anything more than her sunflower hat. It's a legitimate, her meekness is a legitimate point. So it's almost like he's just bringing up, like, you're going to have to address this because this seems implausible, and that's okay. It, it, that's okay. Because it is, a, you know, it is something that needs to be considered.
It is. He shouldn't be worried about attacking her like that. He should simply be worried about presenting his evidence and showing why she could possibly be the person that could do it instead of just this meek little girl. Well, yeah, you're giving him reason to doubt that she could do it in the first place. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I felt like that one isn't nearly as bad as some of his other comments that he's made in the past where it's like, dude, are you fucking kidding me? It's also a timing thing too. Like I said, this is at the beginning. So he's, he's basically establishing that because remember, this is a bench trial. This isn't a jury trial. We have to convince the, the judge. If it was a jury trial, that's different. Because it's not about convincing the judge, right? It's about convincing the jury. But this is a bench trial. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Why in the world would Miss Woods want to do that? Mm -hmm. That's a very good question coming from a novice such as Objection! Relevance. It was me having being an obvious. How is that relevant to anything? The first a question for the defendant. Have you ever been brought up on false charges? What? Why, yes. Yes, I have. And did that experience cause you to harbor a grudge against the court system? Objection! Now wait just one minute. If that kind of thing is, was a motive for blowing things up, then every one of our clients would turn into bombers. That's a valid point. We wouldn't have a single courthouse left standing in the land. <laughs> it is pretty weak. I can see the accused isn't the only one who might bear resentment against the courts. But Miss Woods is the only person who could have committed this crime. Why? Because we have found some decisive evidence that proves the defendant's guilt. Alright. I would... <sighs> I would love to be able to go back and like montage every time they're like decisive evidence and it's not at all decisive ev evidence yeah prosecution can lead a defense witness it's they're technically a hostile wit uh, what's called a hostile witness and when you are directing a hostile witness you can lead that's not, they, they obviously don't establish it here. You would, you would normally establish that in court. You would establish that person as a hostile witness. But, but Tom's right. That's how that would work. But then again, in our system, she could, she, she wouldn't have to testify if she didn't want to. She could decline to testify. Decisive, huh? I believe when I see it. That's a good approach to take. The most very unique aspect of the bob itself, Your Honor. It was covered in sunflowers. And what exactly was so unique about it? Hmm. Why don't we have Miss Sykes answer that question? Uh, he didn't fucking ask me, dipshit. He asked you. Huh. I noticed that you appear to be very nervous, and well, gentlemen that I am. I'd like to offer you the chance to gain some confidence with such an easy question. Oh shit. Could he be any more condescending? Really, what a thoroughly unpleasant man. Don't want me to. So it's hidden inside a stuffed animal. Okay, so it'll have details if I can check it. Check this real quick. Back to the head. Back of the head. Or top back of the head? Flat object. Time of death between 8 and 11. That's a huge time period, considering everyone knows when the explosion happened. <laughs> L is for loser! Huh. What did you say? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought. Uh, I forgot that you're the only person that can insult people. My bad. Nothing. Not a single thing. I would not bring that to court with me. Gotta say, I love her, um, 
uh, Tetsuya Nomura asymmetrical look with one glove here. Very Nomura. Let's see, what was I supposed to do at a time like this? Oh, I know, a court record. The information I need is somewhere in the court record. All right, Miss Socks, let's hear your answer. What was unique about the bomb that blew up the courtroom? Was it because it was in the judge's pocket? Inside a stuffed animal. Mr. Payne, what kind of sample did you take me for? It was stuffed inside a stuffed animal. Its evil intentions were covered up by a cute exterior. <laughs> Very good. Have a cookie. The bomb that went off in the courtroom was indeed hidden inside a stuffed animal. Hey, how do you like that? Not bad, huh? I am fine, just like I said from the start. I can do this. Yes, as I recall, the bomb was stuffed inside a stuffed animal the whole time. I never even got to take a look at it. What connection does this impish elephant have with the defendant? The answer to that question lies in another piece of evidence, which I have here. And what, pray tell, is this? It appears to be a little singed. It's a tale, Your Honor. The tale of a poor victim of the explosion. This is incredible. Are you saying it's Detective Arm's tale? Your Honor is so very close. Jesus but no. <laughs> fucking, are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, that's really good. <laughs> Just with a straight face. Your Honor is so very close, but no, it belongs to this stuffed animal. <laughs> God, I don't know. I'd have to think about it because there's been a lot of them, a lot of them. Yeah, it's true. He should not be trying this case right now for several reasons. Oh, nostalgic. It's a long time to watch one of his videos. It's called the Foodie Fancy. A rather unpleasant name, if you ask me. He's the mascot for a campaign to eliminate false evidence and false charges, is he not? Exactly. His bottle is phony evidence is just trunked up. <laughs> not even gonna hate. Not even gonna hate. Go for it. That's so wrong on so many levels. <laughs> um, Athena... Why don't I introduce you to the D.A.R.E. campaign, and then you tell me what's going to be more effective. The phony fantasy's tail is made of vital cloth. We found something very interesting on its surface. The defendant's fingerprints. Was Strongheart the worst judge? No. Morally, yes, but no. In fact, him being a pretty good judge is actually what led him to being caught. Or at least what I would call fair. What? Fanti provided the prosecution with all the evidence we needed. It clearly proves that the accused handled the bomb. Well, it proves that she handled the stuffed animal. I hate. Oh, the pan. The cool pan. That's cool. I like that. That doesn't make any sense. Why would Junie's fingerprints be?
Yeah, it's true. That's exactly what happened. You respected the system enough to let it convict him. Like, say what you want about his morals and stuff. He did what he did because he believed in the system that he was creating and a part of. Like, even so much as to say, you got me, you got me. Hmm, that does appear to be pretty irrefutable evidence. The court accepted it, accepts it into evidence. I mean, there's a couple problems with this one there's we're operating on the assumption that there was only the one stuffed doll the only the one phony fanty doll in the courtroom at the time and that this one was specifically this tale was specifically attached to the doll that exploded We're also assuming then that because it, her fingerprints on it, that she had to have been the only one handling the uh, the doll, and it wasn't like hers, but it was stolen or you know, or that she didn't just incidentally pick it up because she saw it. It was like, oh, that's cute. So it depends on what she says. Miss Woods, you have an explanation for this? I mean, it's pretty strong to bring a case against her, at least. Like, stronger than most of the, you know. I'm doing turnabout serenade right now. So you know what? This is a lot better than fucking what they used to indict Maki. The eight-year-old who was apparently able to shoot a 45 caliber magnum twice, a gun that Apollo himself says would likely, the, the recoil of which would likely break every bone in the judge's body. But this kid was able to shoot it twice, and once accurately. say 14 like there was actually a difference between Maki being 8 and 14 with that physique. Dude was a... He was tiny. That's the point. Uh, yes. But I haven't seen anybody come in. I think? Oh. Yo, it's a... I don't know why the raid came in. playing this fine evening. Thank you, Trep, for... Wait, thank you, Lugia, for... Uh... Yeah, it's called a redirect. Oh, speaking of which, I never notified Discord. I mean, if they're not here by now, they probably... Just in case... YouTube bot never posted it. Let's. Oh. Dumb. 
died. I always miss like one thing. Alright, sorry. Yeah, uh, easy. What was it that you were playing? Nintendo. Wait, which ones? The Switch? Just like any of them? 64, Super, NES? Miss Woods, do you have an explanation for this? I... I don't understand. I... <laughs> How about you, Miss Sykes? Do you have any plausible explanation to refute this decisive piece of evidence? Well, I... Uh, uh, hmm. I can't do it. I can't think of a single thing. But I'd better come up with something. Judy's sake. We can't produce an answer. We can always go straight to the ruling, if you prefer. No, I have to say something fast. Oh no! Can't get my voice to work. Why now of all times? What? I thought I overcame this already. Maybe I'm still not ready to stand in court. Oh, cutscene. In the middle of the okay, cool. The faceless court system. As you can see, there is no room for debate. Objection! Why, it's you! God damn right. Oh, look at that updated look. It might have been the same judge. I think the point of that was just to show that, uh, to her, they all were the same. Everyone was the same. They were all the evil justice system against her. Okay, shit. If she legitimately has a mental, like, block that prevents her from speaking, then yes. Actually, what she did earlier when she said she could do it was incredibly brave. Also reckless. My God. Shoulders have doubled in width since we last fought pain. My Giga Chat energy has grown four sizes. More or less reckless than Apollo. Uh, less reckless than Apollo? Dude was in an explosion yesterday. She's had six months to work, and she could reasonably have believed that, hey, so I had this experience, maybe I'm ready. The problem is that it's really bad to just make that split second. What makes it reckless is making a split second decision to do that. She could be a lawyer. She could be a transactional lawyer and never have to speak in her life. It would be difficult, but it could happen. Litigation attorney? That's an entirely different. Yeah, that'd be a, that'd be kind of a problem. Sorry it took me so long to get here, Athena. I'll explain the whole thing to me over the phone. He asked me to come help you out in this place. Thanks for coming. Hate to admit it, I was having a real rough time on my own. I have. A, I, I feel like in order to be a part of Phoenix's law firm, you ha this is one face you have to show him. Your exasperated face. And you have to have a very greatly exaggerated exasperated face. Otherwise, 
you, wait, you can't be a part of this firm. Oh, I don't know. I think you were doing just fine, all things considered. You hung in there, giving me enough time to get here. Now let's turn things around. You got it, boss! That's gotta feel so good. For, Fe for Phoenix. Like, just, you got it, boss! Like, oh. Every time somebody calls me fun, you're warm and fuzzy in my tub tub. Ho ho ho! Look who showed up out of the blue. If it isn't Mr. Phoenix Wright, you always manage to surprise me. I always surprise you, Your Honor, because you're a moron. Your Honor, Mr. Payne has called for an early ruling, but I believe there are still many things that need to be deliberated. How did Miss Wood's fingerprints wind up on the stuffed animal tail? How was the bomb even detonated? Until these questions are answered, I assert it's impossible for a fair ruling to be made. Wow! Oh. Oh. Still keeping that Phoenix energy, I see. I was worried. I was worried. My my apprehensions were a little quelled when I saw that the vest, the white vest. I'm like, mm, ain't no way he's wearing that vest now and he's gonna be a punk again. But still. <laughs> You'll blow me away like in the anime. Mm, you are absolutely right. Let us continue from where we left off. I assume you have no objections, Mr. Payne? See, this... It's impossible, Your Honor. Yes, you are right. But Your Honor, this decisive evidence, actually, you are right. <laughs> Not at all, Your Honor. This, this Woods really looks like she's having a hard time. Junie's really struggling, Mr. Ryan. I get the sense she's afraid of the courtroom itself. Because of yesterday? Yeah, it was understandably very traumatic for her. Poor thing, here she is back at the courthouse again being so brave. I'd like to make a request, Your Honor. If at all possible, I'd like to have Miss Woods rest in the lobby. Hmm, given the defendant's condition. Very well, I grant special permission. Even he'll do that, of course! Duh! You go get some rest, Junie. We'll leave the rest to us. Okay, thank you. Sorry about this. <laughs> well, you, well, you see, Your Honor, I spoke most recently, so therefore I am right. Agreed. Continue with the cross-examination. I'm glad that they didn't, uh... How do I want to phrase this? They didn't alter the character, like, the over-characterization for her because it changed from a male model to a female model. I was worried that they were going to kind of redo it, like Apollo and... Phoenix's goofiness, but it's great to see that they kept the very same spirit because that really adds a lot of character to her too. Instead of making her like a lesser version of them, yeah, hold this virtually and mute yourself. Phoenix, right? I've been looking forward to meeting you. It's been a while, Mr. Payne. <laughs> You're more clueless than I'd heard. I do believe you mean, how do you do? For I am gasping pain. The younger brother by how much? Like three months? You look just as old as he does, although you do have the hair. I am the younger brother of your long-standing rival, Winston Payne. Well, you see, the problem with that is, in order for there to be something of a rivalry, there has to be back and forth. And you see, your brother never beat me, therefore it's not really a rivalry so much as it is just a one-sided ass-kicking.
What? <laughs> yeah. Longstanding rival? Why don't we have a rivals, let alone longstanding? Never. You are right to question this. <laughs> yeah. It'd be cool if his last name wasn't Payne. You'll see, Mr. Wright, I will cleanse Winston of the disgrace he met with at your hands. Dude is, his, their parents are awful people. Just terrible people. To name their two children Winston and Gaspin when their last name is Payne. I mean, if they're prosecutors, they work at the same, they're going to work. There aren't different prosecutorial firms. There, there's only one prosecutor's office. That's the, the government. Although he could be at a prosecutor in a different jurisdiction. Yes. Maybe they were also named something embarrassing. So they felt like, fuck that. My children are going to deal with the same bullshit I dealt with. Bullshit. Phoenix is a great dad. Actually, no. He was pretty terrible with Trucy. <laughs> she loved him all the same. Uh, looks like this royal pain is going to be as thoroughly unpleasant as the other. <laughs> Your Honor, the prosecution would now like to call a decisive witness to the stand. I swear to God, if he overuses the word decisive one more goddamn time, this witness will testify as to how the accused detonated the bomb in the courtroom. He is very much like your average Twitter moron. I don't have any evidence to actually suggest that what I'm saying is true, but if I say it enough, it'll become true. Yes, Edward's dad, best father. Very well. Please call your witness, Mr. Payne. Oh, absolutely. Because dude was awful. Zach, what a douchebag. Yes. I feel like Twitter is the perfect micro. Like, it all fits into Twitter. Twitter is the worst of the internet. Witness your name and occupation, please. Uh, witness? Okay. Even I get that one. Name, Ted Donate. Ted Donate. Occupation, bomb disposal specialist. Oh, Ma, what a strange robotic voice you have. Speech sympath synthesis via typing is the same as me talking. Sounds exactly like a robot. Can't you speak in a normal manner? How rude of you to ask me. I can. He can? But I do not like to speak. Speaking is inefficient. Energy expenditure speaking greater than typing. Understand? Hmm, what an odd witness. Mr. Tonate was in charge of the bomb for that trial and was there when it went off. Being a bomb squad specialist, do you have any relation to the defendant? Negative. I first met the girl while on this job. Many people are employed by the police. I know only a fraction of them. However, I was shocked when I first discovered the body of the victim. Shocked? I was the first one on the scene after the explosion. I went there to ensure safety, but I ended up discovering a dead body. Hmm, so he was the first to discover the body, was he? Curious. 
He's here to testify about the circumstances surrounding the moment of the explosion. Very well. The court will hear Mr. Tenade's testimony. But at the very least, show this court some respect and remove that face guard, witness. <laughs> Never mind, put the face guard back on! Put it back on! Um, this guy's a self-reporter. 100%. The bomb was originally disarmed by me, then transported here as evidence. Bomb name, HH3000, operated by timer or with a remote. I was watching from the gallery when I suddenly became alarmed. I saw that bombs, that the bomb's timer was counting down. So even though the bomb was supposed to be disarmed, it somehow got switched on? Precisely. Activating the timer is very simple. Connect wires, switch on timer. A monkey could do it. I am sure even you would be able to, Mr. Wright. Oh, uh, well, sounds like the guy that was supervising the bomb did a really fucking awful job then. Probably worse than a monkey would have done. I guess you may this makes you the blue monkey in this barrel of fun, boss. <clears throat> would not like to begin my cross-examination, huh? Mr. Tony, what is that? HH3000, a.k.a. a bomb. A bomb? Great googly moogly. Yeah! Mr. Tony, I demand that you disarm it this instant. Disassembly complete. Hmm. 5.3 seconds. 0.2 seconds short of my personal best. Gotta hit the PBs. I have live split here on my screen. Are you trying to give me a heart attack? I'm not exactly a spring chicken, you know. Almost. We almost got him. This is an exact replica of the HH-3000. It is used to practice disarming bombs. Disarm equals success. Explosion equals failure. That might have been the most useless piece of testimony we've ever had. It's up there. Exact replica of the bomb that exploded, is it? So that's what it looked like. My dude doing any percent glitchless. Yeah, right. <laughs> I submitted a photograph of the real bomb taken just before the trial. Look at it. Why did you, why? I'm confused. Did they say that the bomb was a part of the trial? Was the photograph taken for evidentiary purposes? A bomb disarming TASS. <laughs> yeah, this guy. I found Orange dead in storage. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you did. After you killed him. Yes, okay. All right, thank you. That clears that up. Like, why would he just randomly do that? Your bomb does appear to be a very good copy indeed. Yes, however, I could not replicate the detonation mechanism. This, it has a very puzzling wiring set up. It is regrettable I could not replicate it. Witness, that's enough. There's no need to replicate anything here. Oh, well, that's cool how the, yeah, that's cool. And now if the defense will begin their cross-examination. Hmm? Where has Miss Sox gone to? Uh, don't worry. Just cleaning off my pants after I piss myself. Athena, you can come out now. Okay, Mr. Wright. Let's get to work. I guess you were pretty scared, huh? What? I don't know what you're talking about. She was about to... She was about to bolt! <laughs> Hey, put a sock in it, Widget. Ah, as transparent as ever. Man, I gotta say. Fucking gallery is the most stoic gallery I've ever seen. There wasn't no... 
gasping. There wasn't no movement. Everybody just sitting there like, yes, that is a bomb. <laughs> Apollo has already been ejected. Well, yes, but the issue is that they don't have the bomb, right? Because it exploded. Although, if you could find a part of the bomb, like I, I don't, I don't know how likely it would be that you'd be able to find a piece of it. I don't have enough experience with explosives, and all my Fallout playthroughs, I put very minimal into explosives. So. Uh, let's see, where were we? We were at the cross-examination. Oh, cross-examination, of course. She seems disoriented. I wonder if she's alright. Maybe I should ask Athena if she remembers how to cross-examine, to help her focus. Ah, no, no need for that. Right now, she'll be fine. I'll do everything I can to help. If you can't find any contradictions, and you flub up too often, don't be afraid to ask me for help. Tap that consult panel in your brain space head when it appears to consult with me. I'll let you know where I think the suspicious statement is. Sounds good. Wow, that's like a cheat button. I'll be counting on you if I get in a bind. All right, it's cross-examination time. I guess I should also say, so I was talking all that shit earlier. But I guess I also got like almost two whole, but mm, uh, about a year total, I guess, spread out over two years of courtroom experience as interns or government, well, court counsel plus uh, judge. So I don't know what her internship experience was like to know if she ever had any. Phoenix put that vest on. Now he's a fucking boss. Oh, what am I doing? I'm sure one of you s mentioned this, but I wasn't. Chat's so busy. Not that that's a bad thing, but I'm sure I missed many messages. All right, later, Tom. So my B. My B to everyone that I... I don't mean to miss any of your messages. It's just trying to play the game and chat's going pretty fast. Everybody, you know, game's interesting. People want to say stuff. I should have cosplayed as Athena. Well, I do have that color tie and a white shirt. I just don't have a yellow jacket. Well, no, but you're not going to see what's beneath the waist anyways. I don't have a suit. I don't have suit pants on. Spoiler alert. I didn't wear a wig for Apollo. I wouldn't do it for her. I, I know I did it for Edgeworth. That was different. Well, I have pants on, just not suit pants. Besides, Doug Walker's uh, jacket is either black or very dark gray. This is blue. Dark blue. Also, I'm doing fine easy. You're doing good. Hope you're doing well.
I mean, I've worked for a judge, and I can tell you he did not wear a PJ robe. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> I mean, it is it is really dark blue, but it's dark blue. It's definitely not gray or black. Most attorney and politician blues that you're going to see are going to be this, not what Phoenix wears. What Phoenix wears is way too light to be generally considered acceptable formal wear. I mean, it's cool. Don't get, don't get me wrong. I love his design. But, like, nobody's wearing that blue in court. Ever. The... You say that you disarmed the bomb, but are you really sure it was disarmed? Absolutely, I can disarm anything. That's not what he asked you. He's, he asked you, are you sure? Not that your ability, he's not questioning your abilities. He's simply questioning, are you sure that it was disarmed? In a flash. Uh, that looks more like dismantle than disarm to me. Oh, pardon me. Let's see. Is there any chance you could have forgotten to disarm the bomb? Impossible. I do not make rudimentary mistakes like that. They say to err is human. Okay, that's worthless. Although the jury is still out on this guy. <laughs> if you must know Mr. Wright, according to the court's own records, the fact that the bomb had indeed been disarmed was officially confirmed. Hmm. I guess I can rule out the possibility that he forgot to disarm it. Can you talk about the bomb in a little more detail for the court, Mr. Tonight? Certainly. Ooh, or... Okay, that's... Why can't one wear bright blue in court if they're alert? It's not that you can't do it. It is that it is heavily disfavored. The American formal professional or professional formal look is very narrow in scope. You wear dark, you, it, it's going to be dark. Jacket. It's going to be either gray or blue, never black. They tell me black, they, in law school, they tell you you only wear black for two occasions, a wedding and a funeral. Never wear it to court. You can wear khaki pants. That's pretty common. But you're not wearing a khaki jacket. I mean khaki in terms of the color, not actual like, you know, like that beige. Again, it's not that it's not allowed, it's just that it's considered tacky. Because black suits, black suits are considered the most, the most formal. It's like the same reason you wouldn't wear a tuxedo. Like a, a full blown, like, uh, tail tuxedo. You wear a suit, you don't wear a tux to court because that's too over, overly formal. How about wine red suit with a crop? Probably not. I might get away. I honestly might be might be able to get away with a with a dark red suit coat and khaki pants. Um, it would raise some eyebrows, but I think I could probably get away with it without like the judge throwing a fit. Uh, correct. And like, it's, it's bad to be overdressed, just as it is being underdressed. I have not, I'm sure people have done it, but most of the time, if that happens, it'll be, a, it'll be out of ignorance. 
as opposed to ego. No, no. I would never get to the courtroom <laughs> anyways. Are some judges more lax about dress code than others? Only in so far as like, like how tight your tie is. I don't know, cause one of my things that I was known for when I was still doing litigation consistently was that I wear very colorful, like I, I keep the suit rule, but I wear very colorful collared shirts. And I was like, the support staff courthouses loved me because they're like, oh my God, somebody's actually not afraid to have a personality. I'm like, I know, but this is about to the extent that we can have a personality. But, and, and I was never like, nobody ever commented negatively about that. No judge about what I wore, wore. but it's possible that there'll be other judges that are like, huh. Certainly like wearing that bright ass purple shirt underneath your suit. Socks, yeah. So socks are the other thing, and your ties generally. The, the tie itself can be can be fairly colorful. You look like an idiot if you wore a, if you wore a Christmas tie in July, of course. But you know, tie. But socks are generally socks are where most lawyers go crazy. I go crazy with the socks and the shirt. My ties are actually fair, uh, fairly. Uh, I won't say mute, but they're more reserved. Because it's more about the color of the shirt than my tie. You know, it's interesting. In our state, I don't know how this is across the nation, at least, but in our state, the, if that person had a defense attorney, they might get ripped, too. Um, as a defense attorney, you're like expected to be able to like dress your client to a certain extent. Like a lot of defense attorneys will have like extra, like they won't be super nice or anything, but they will be like extra suits that they can put on. They won't necessarily fit all that well, but they won't look like, you know, a homeless person. None of the attorneys in this trial are, the, no attorneys in Ace Attorney are ever appropriately dressed. Godot wasn't even, you cannot, I have not met a judge that'd be okay with somebody to go, going in with just a vest and not a suit coat. What was the approximate size and, and weight of the bomb? But to be fair, if they were appropriately dressed, they'd probably be fucking boring as characters. No, Edgeworth's the one that wears a thong. Or at least like a, uh, just a Speedo. 100%. Hey, Light. Thank you for the upgrade, my dude. You're doing awesome. Fight me, foos. Phoenix does need a, and a woo for his triumphant return. Um, be a face. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. No. No, me a was not appropriately dressed you do not show cleavage like that like the the actual like suit ensemble that she had on was fine but the way she was presenting it was not I don't remember what his a1 outfit was
Yeah, if Gregory had a normal dark suit, then he'd be fine. I don't. I honestly don't remember. Did we see him in court in color? I know we saw it in like flashbacks, and it was like that sepia. A gray suit in the first. Yeah, and then it was probably fine. Light gray suits are fine. I have a light gray suit. Dark brown is also fine. Um, but generally you don't wear a full brown suit. Although I honestly don't know if... That one's probably borderline. I'm not sure if you could get away with that. I'm guessing yes. But I've never seen brown pants, only a brown suit coat. Brown's fine. I just haven't, I, now I think about it, I haven't seen brown in a long time. But it, but mostly like older attorneys will have brown. Very 70s, okay, so yeah, that makes sense then. They've probably had it since the 70s. Dimensions, 10 inch height times 10 inch width times 10 inch Depth, weight, 12 pounds. Diameter? No. What's the D there? Is it depth? It's depth. Okay, thank you. This information is also written on the photograph. I told you to take a look at it. Ah, uh, yes, here it is on the back. According to this... The case is made out of alloy plating, five sixteenths of an inch thick. That certainly sounds like one thick and very bit of... That sounds like one thick and very heavy bit of metal. I bet if I dropped that thing on your foot, you'd be hopping. Yes. Yeah, see, like, I have this colored tie, and I can wear a white or even light blue. I'm not sure if it's considered white or light blue. Um, but I could do either one. I just, I do not have a yellow coat, a yellow jacket. Especially not a small yellow jacket. You drop that thing anywhere, I'd be hopping for the nearest exit. But um, shh. Sounds like freedom measurements to me. Very well. I believe the court has heard enough about the bomb itself. No, Mr. Tonate, you were keeping an eye on the bomb. Where were you watching from? Okay, so, quick comment. It seems like this game is is trying its best to actually make the lead-ins to the questions a lot smoother. And I haven't complained about this for a while because you already know how I feel about it. There's no need to, to go into it in depth again but the reason why that's dumb is because you've already heard what he said now you're just going back and going over the statements having him essentially like say it word for word again is not how this would work and it'd be very unreasonable so like while i understand why they're they thought the idea of making it a smooth transition would make sense. I don't think it actually works here. I think it just seems sillier. Hold it! All right, later on it is. Why were you in the gallery? My duties may have been over for the moment, but I wanted to keep watch. Even though the bomb was disarmed, you can never be too careful. You you were there as an extra precaution and you still fucking failed. Explosive devices are very dangerous things. Ah, how admirably responsible of you. A model to be emulated, even though you completely failed at your job. I practice disarming bombs every day. I practice assembling them, too. Yeah, that's not suspicious at all. The disarming part I get, but assembling them? Well, I'll have you know that I practice presenting evidence every day myself. 
Good for her. I never did that. I see, but do you ever practice having evidence presented to you? Presented to me? What? No, I... Then you cannot very well call yourself a professional yet. Can That is not how that works. That is... That is not how that works. That does it. I'm gonna start practicing having evidence presented to me every day. Who's gonna present it to you? Your Jesus fucking dog? Jesus fucking, are you kidding me? Yes, I created a clone of myself so that they can practice presenting the evidence to me. Professor Tolo. Whatever the fucking name is. That evil bastard. It makes sense that she's easy to rile up. Although, well, I don't know how old she is. I was gonna say, technically she's more experienced than Apollo was when we first met him. I guess he was less easily riled, more so than he just always reacted very strongly. That's cute. I didn't notice that. That the thing reacts to her emotions too. Like it changes, it's like a mood ring. Do we have a uh, profiles? Nope. 23. So this is one year later. Wait, right? Because he was 22 in the in Apollo Justice. Well, was she's 18? Good fucking god. This one lacks presence too. Oh dear. 42? Looks like he's like 80. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Oh, that's, uh, that's really unfortunate. Yeah, okay, so lawyer, 18. 18, high school student. Again, it's like being a lawyer when you're that young isn't even an exceptional feat because they're like, it seems like half of them are like that. That's just the norm. If you're not, com Apollo's came out at 22, which is still three years earlier than the average lawyer in America. And he is unexceptional. Compared to some of these other people. Phoenix is unexceptional. They're not prodigies if they're a dime a dozen then. Yeah, Edgeworth started, started younger than Phoenix did. Like, it's... Why couldn't you make her 22? Like, would that really have been that big a deal? Or they have to keep it as close to the, oh, this is kind of taboo line as possible. Jesus. Yeah, you're a failure. Fucking failure. You better drink some coffee, boss. We're gonna be pulling an all-nighter. I don't think that'll be necessary. Or worth either of our time. So, Mr. Tone, what did you witness from the gallery? Okay, I... I'll forgive it in the great ace attorney because the system really wasn't as structured as it is today in terms of the profession things were different what are you talking about dog from your mod work I'm tired. 
very tired. Yeah, make sure Dog isn't doing all the work himself. There's, what, at least three other mods here? Thought counting down clearly with your own eyes? Well, these are not my eyes, technically speaking. My original eyes, at least. I hardly think a timer as small as the one on this bomb could be seen from the gallery. These goggles help me see very small things clearly from very far away. I can even see what you had for breakfast by looking at your tie. That's assuming that he ate breakfast with his tie on. Why do I suddenly feel like a bug under a magnifying glass? No, CJ is CJ from Discord. <laughs> We have five. Hmm, I guess it's possible we saw the timer if he was wearing the goggles. I'm not so sure. There's something that just doesn't sit right with me. Hmm? I don't think I follow. The bomb was completely hidden inside the stuffed animal. So well concealed, in fact, that it didn't even look like a bomb at all. Are you trying to find testimony that conflicts with the evidence, right? That's right. Listening carefully to Mr. Tenade's testimony is just the first step. After that, it's a matter of taking a look at any evidence that seems relevant. I'm not gonna talk to this meta. Your headspace stuff does all this. Let's see, this testimony is about when the bomb went off. So I think that what state it was in at the time would be pretty important. Can I get to presenting the fucking evidence now? A bomb that didn't look like a bomb because it was inside a stuffed animal. So you say you saw the bomb's countdown, is that right? Of course, I clearly saw it counting down to zero. And I say that you are clearly lying. What are you talking about? There is no way you could have seen the bomb's timer. After all, the bomb was concealed inside a stuffed animal. Mr. Tsunade, how can you claim to know the bomb was about to go off when you couldn't even see the timer? Ah, uh, but it's just a good job. What? No. Dude had a trap. Or not. I guess it's I guess it's more of a cat that became a CJ that became a trap. That does seem like a glaring inconsistency indeed. Witness, how do you explain this? Well, I, I... Oh, that was great, Mr. Wright. You found a contra contradiction right off the bat. Always remember, Athena, you find an inconsistency in a witness testimony, there's always a reason behind it. It could be a lie, hidden meaning, or sec a secret. Whatever it is, it's up to us to dig it out. It can only be slandered if it's untrue. Slander if it's untrue. So. for stating the truth. Uh, 
That would be weird. Yeah. If I were to continuously do it after he asked me to stop, that could be harassment. Yes. All right, Trep, show me the NDA that we signed. Produce the documents, then I'll admit it to you. Sure, if you're in a dictatorship, which, to be fair, they're all under my dictatorship in this chat. I just want to make sure there's no, like, illusions that this is a democracy here. <laughs> Pointing out every contradiction we find is the best way to do it, right, boss? Now the question is, what can we dig out of Mr. Tomei? Well, let me see. I do typed a... Uh. No, no, no! There must be some mistake. Oh yes, yes, of course, I remember now. The sound, I knew because of the sound. Sound? What sound? When the timer of this type of bomb is switched on, it beeps softly. Beep, beep, beep is the sound of the bomb counting down. A beeping noise, you say? That could have just been a truck backing up. I suppose it would be possible to notice that even with the bomb inside the stuffed animal. I simply made a mistake. My bad. Objection! Well, he uses lingo like a 42-year-old would. As a 36-year-old, I can't confirm. Truckoon. <laughs> How in the world did you hear such a tiny little sound all the way from the gallery? Listening for the sound of a bomb's timer, timer is an integral part of my work. I constantly undergo training so that I will never miss it. Man, dude must have... He must have a worse time than Lucy does on Garbage Day. I hardly think training would help you hear something so soft from so far away. What now? Are you making light of the fine science of disarming bombs? It is a solemn mission that I put my life on the line to perform. What kind of specialist would I be if I could not hear a bomb's timer? Specials. It's not like this. It's not like this. Disassembling a toaster, you know. Now he's just showing off. You keep asserting that the sound was too tidy to hear, but the only tidy thing here is your skill as a lawyer. The objection. Worthless ad hominem. Being suspicious is not attractive quality, you know. And you're just overflowing with attractive qualities, are you? Or perhaps you have some proof that Mr. Tonight did not hear the sound. Well, no, but... It still seems totally suspect. But it's going to be really hard to prove that he didn't hear something. If I have this correct, the prosecution's argument is that... Someone reactivated the bomb before it was brought into the courtroom, somehow. It somehow broke the chain of custody, but they have no evidence as to that actually happening. What I don't understand, Mr. Payne, is why you believe that person to be Mrs. Wood, or excuse me, Miss Woods. That's simple, Your Honor. Mr. Tonade happened to be there when it happened. Wow, that sentence was awful. He was there with the defendant to rearm the bomb, and he, what, did nothing? What's this now? Why the fuck wasn't this testified to? Are you kidding me? It, ha it happened before the trial started. Whoops. Sorry about that. It was when Detective Arm and I were transporting the bomb. We brought the bomb to the lobby for the defense. Bomb equals evidence. The lawyer wanted to see it before the start of the trial. 
looking for a ch looking for a chance to get at the bub, Miss Woods was already there in that lobby. Her goal was surely to rearm the bub and steal the remote switch. The remote switch? Yes, the switch that controls the bomb remotely. Duh. It has been missing ever since the incident. I am partially to blame. Yeah, no fucking shit. I left the bomb and remote on top of a transport case. So... <laughs> he might be, like, criminally negligent at best. And they were rearmed and stolen while I was talking with the lawyer. Then how'd you know it was her? Did you see her rearm it? In which case, why didn't you disarm it? Be fucking hammering him right now. The defendant then used the remote from inside the courtroom to start the time. Objection! How can you assert so unequivocally that the bomb was, bomb was rearmed in the lobby? Objection! You don't have to object to me, you can just talk to me. The bomb was safely secured in the, trans the transfer case. The only time it was outside the case was in that lobby. And why? Why? Therefore, that was the one and only, only opportunity anyone had to meddle with. Just ask one question, Phoenix. Oh, I wanted to take it out and show the lawyer. <laughs> I thought she'd be impressed with my equipment, if you know what I mean. Wink, wink. Like, so she, so he said that the reason that they, she, he took it out was so that she could see it. But if that's the case, why would it have ever, ever been left alone? If she wanted to see it, she's look, oh, we're done. Let me put it back in the case. So she saw it, and then he, like, turned and started flirting with her or something, and just left it there. In which case, how would he have known that it was rearmed? And if he knew that it was rearmed before it went back in the case, why wouldn't he have disarmed it? This is... This is... This is horrendous. Impossible. The transport case is assigned exclusively to me. Do you see this number here? That is my identification number. And I have the only key that can open the case. Nevertheless, Mr. Payne's assertion is nothing more than conjecture. You have no proof that it was Miss Woods who stole the remote switch. And by the same token, you have no proof that it wasn't her. We're done. We're done. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing. Nope. 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 Jesus fucking, are you kidding me? I'm not fucking doing, I'm not fucking doing this. This is embarrassingly bad. This is... Oh. To be fair, Japan is guilty until proven innocent. Yeah, and their system is fucking stupid. Come at me, Japan. Tell me how, how great your stupid fucking system is. Exactly for this reason!
Okay. Two hours and 20 minutes is how far we got in before I needed a drink in the first case. Not sure how that stacks up with the rest of the games, but... Um, I want to say, just so that there's no confusion, I'm not bashing the writing here. I understand that the writer is attempting to show just how stupid the system is. And for that, I applaud him. Still having to read this is infuriating. Uh, his, his, that, I mean, that looks dark gray to me. Can we agree? Like, that's, his dress is perfectly fine. Dark gray, white shirt, orange tie. That's, that's pretty good, actually. Except for the orange tie, he's pretty stylish. As far as looking good in a corner. Well, not the shades. Of course not. Well, okay. Oh, I'm talking about his suit, not his whole look. His hair is fucking ridiculous, and he wouldn't wear shades. You shouldn't wear shades inside. Ever. Why do you need to wear your sunglasses inside? Just to be a prick. But that, the problem is, Maxim, is you're not taking the intent, like the backstory intent. Like, I would agree with you if I didn't know that part of the whole reason this came about is because they are trying to shit on the system. Like, that has to be taken into consideration because that's their intent. If the system is you're guilty until proven innocent, this is a perfectly reasonable thing to say. Problem is that system's fucking dumb to begin with. So this is asinine. Okay, to be fair, I wore my sunglasses inside because of my having my people. What I do have is a piece of evidence that proves the defendant handled the bomb. Oh, is this another decisive piece of evidence? I thought the other pieces of evidence were decisive. Not the tail. But are we still sure that that was the same doll? Hmm. Five minutes, 24 seconds, 2.3. Help me out, guys. Deci Deci seconds? Deci seconds? Deca seconds? Desi seconds. That's uh, that's something. I mean, if it's not a commentary on the system, then there's a whole lot of bad faith writing behind a lot of this shit. I would agree. But I, I'm not aware of it being definitively proven. I mean, that could be. It could be that that was, that was their intent, and then they got, like, pressure for doing that. And so they backpedaled and said, no, it wasn't. Maybe. I don't know. That, that could be. I could see that happening either way. 
like they didn't do it initially and then said, oh, no, we did. Because then it makes more sense and looks better. The defense's advantage lasted a mere five minutes. See, that's what I would have thought. Just said mill millis use millis. I I've never heard anybody use deciseconds. Hey, you're not wrong to do so. <sighs> Talk about a rotten hand. It's two seven off suit. As long as they have her fingerprints as their trump card, I'm at a big disadvantage. Hmm. It appears we will have to hear from the defendant herself once more. I wholeheartedly agree, Roderick. I would like to recall Miss Woods to the stand. as a hostile witness, obviously. I trust you have no objections, Mr. Wright. I'm worried about her condition, but we do need her testimony. Absolutely need her testimony. On the other hand, I'm not sure I want to make Athena mad. I can read your feelings, you know, boss. Guess there's no hiding from her, huh? Don't worry. I know we need her testimony. But if anybody picks on her again, they'll pay. Guess she's already at anger level one. Don't worry. I'll stop the proceedings before I let anything bad happen to her. Can I just say, I really think Phoenix's whole look would be better if his eyes were brown. They just, I feel like Brown would pop more for him. The defense has no objection, Your Honor. In that case, I will take my leave. But before I do, there is just one more thing, Mr. Wright, is it? Me? Yes. Dismantling bombs is my job. Dismantling the case is yours. Do you think you can handle it? Why are you asking me this? This is weird. I look forward to seeing you try. This is some shit a supervillain would say. Why in the hell would anyone say this if they're not suspected of being the criminal? That's not a good enough excuse. Well, he's not okay in the head. Well, that should work against him to begin with, then. God. If I'm the judge, I'm like, why would you say that's weird? Weren't there different writers, though? I mean, like, you still have the main creator, but the people that are actually writing the stuff. Poop Brown, not Poop Brown. <laughs> I mean, they could be anti-weed, though, and still dislike the court system. Like, the way that... That's... That's... What's wrong with that? Like, it doesn't... I don't think those things have to be inclusive. Well, the AI writers are the only ones with any sense of, like, progressive tech. Fucking old writers are like, uh, uh, yes, we will use an overhead projector and this chalkboard. And also all your files are handwritten. They destroyed the files for that one case. And it's like, oh shit, those are actually destroyed. You know what would happen if that, if somebody, somebody were to come in and destroy some files in my office, I'd be like, wow, sucks that we lost the original. Good thing I have it all backed up digitally. <clears throat> this guy's hiding something. I just, oh, yeah. 
<laughs> fucking astute observation, Phoenix. What was it? The red white case? One, two? Where they took some of the. They took that folder or whatever? Yeah, he's not even hiding. Like, it's just... Now, I get it. It's 2003. Law is behind when it comes to tech compared to other professions. It's just that, in retrospect, it seems really silly for anybody. It did not age well. Let's just say that part of that case did not age well at all. Because that happened to a lawyer now. He's like, man, well, we lost the originals, but I still have a copy of it in my computer. And in the cloud, even. You can't even just destroy my computer and get rid of it. It's in the cloud. I can access it on multiple computers. 2001. Sorry. Yeah. J just a... It's just an instance of something aging very poorly. Not that it wasn't unreasonable at the time, just aged horrendously. That was bad, I agree. That didn't make any sense. Now, if you will excuse me, I shall disappear, literally. Bailiff, please go out to the lobby and bring back the defendant. Only a hacker could do what? Get at your files to be able to permanently do erase them from the entirety of the internet? Yes. And even then, like, okay, so I have, we're able to upload our files into a cloud-based software. We also still have those files on our hard drive and the physical copies. So they would have to be able to delete, somehow get rid of all three of those in order for the files to be completely gone. Junie. Hi, Athena. She looks even worse off than before. Don't worry, Junie. We're here for you. Thanks, Dana. I'll do my best, too. You blew up the courtroom because you bear resentment against the court's... Cr Objection! Holy shit! She allegedly did it. You can't just say, oh, you did this. Wow! No, of course not. There's like three ways you could object. You could object to that as being uh, uh, badgering or uh, not harassing. It's the other word. Being confrontational to the witness. Not leading. Leading is fine. Leading is fine is this circum in this circumstance because she's technically a hostile witness to the prosecution. The, the leading part of it isn't the issue. Oh, of course not, I... Have people ever tried to destroy files before? Have you heard of Watergate? Yeah, people have tried to destroy files before. Attorneys have tried to shred files that would be incriminating. Businesses do that far too often. That happens a lot. <laughs> is he worse than the other i mean i can't really say yet we've only had like half a case with him so far he seems pretty similar to ouchie more so ouchie than winston than winston i actually thought winston was okay 
relatively speaking. I'd say he's worse than Winston so far. Was, was that you say? We could barely hear you. That's not real hair. I, I haven't done anything wrong. This prosecutor is scary. You think he's scary? You're not going to get very far, Lud. Objection! What impudent little girl. Stop acting innocent and tell the... Ob fucking objection. Jesus Christ. You can't insult the witness. This is getting ugly. You rearmed the bob because you wanted to blow up the courthouse. Admit it. That's... Phoenix, what are you doing, my dude? Phoenix does the, like, little bit of aggression. Like, if he has even a slight inflection, you have the fucking, the prosecution going, badgering the witness. Uh, Mr. Wright, I would not let you raise your tone at this witness. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Like, he's just trying to get her to admit it by, like, being super aggressive. That's it. Let's get it! Let's get it! Let's get it! Let's get it! Let's go! Hey, thanks and cog. Welcome back to the student body. Much appreciated. Uh, poorly over these this last 30 minutes. Pretty good before that. Some some U.S. attorneys would act like this, but they'd never get away with it. Mr. Wright, can I go and give that prosecutor a smack? His fucking face. What? Of course not. We have to review court order matters 101 again. You can't let a creep like that. We can't let a creep like that bully innocent girls like this off so easily. We can't let a creep that bullies innocent girls like this off so easily. I mean, I agree. Phoenix is really dropping the ball here. I haven't forgotten about how he treated you. Don't worry about me, just help Junie. Her, 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 her heart's crying out. She's so scared, so very scared. It's like Athena's picking something up with her heightened senses. Is that her thing? Is that her thing now? Phoenix can fucking look into your mind. Athena can hear things. And Apollo can see things. God. definitely know the porno version of attorney ace attorney that definitely exists goes by like the whole power secret powers by how much their dick throbs right <laughs> like what why do we have to keep going back to this she could just be cool and normal she doesn't need these fucking powers Ugh. edgeworth was magnificent just by being a Badass attorney. Like, he's the best. And he has nothing other than he's awesome. It sounds like this time it's the voice of Miss Worth Woods' heart. Don't deny it. You stole the remote switch and used it in the courtroom, didn't you? This is like an interrogation. This is a fucking interrogation in court. Your Honor, please put a stop to this. Mr. Payne is badgering the defendant. Yeah, why the fuck isn't Phoenix doing this? Yes, Miss Woods does seem quite frightened. It's irrelevant as to her actual reaction. He is objectively badgering her. Mr. Payne, I ask that you behave more like a gentleman. Ah, uh, but don't you know, Your Honor? There is no more a gentle man in this world than I. A gentleman or even a gentle man would behave like he does. Don't let that rude ruffian win. 
Tina! This is the perfect voice to give her. How dare you call a gentleman such as I rude ruffian? How old are you? 95? I'll have you know I attend a manners class every Saturday. Well, the fact that you need a manners class is indicative of something. I'm more than just a mere gentleman. I'm a genteel man. Not when you're terrorizing a young lady, you're not. Oh my god, judge. Get control of your goddamn courtroom. I demand my money back for that manners class if I were you. Ugh. You got him? I guess? Should probably be the adult here and stop the two of them, but it's entertaining, so I won't. Mr. Payne, that'll be enough. Certainly, Your Honor. No further questions. Let's move on to the defendant's testimony. You were trying to get testimony out of her, you dipshit. Miss Woods, please share with the court what you were doing with the doing with the Bob went off. I was crying, obviously. Oh, that day, I was watching from the gallery. The bomb went off. And rubble started falling. I fell on, it fell on top of me. How is she alive? Or not like crushed at least. Junie's clearly in pain being forced to recall the bombing like this. She can't even get her words out. This isn't going to work, so what now? Hey, wait a minute. If she can't vocalize what she wants to say, we can listen to what's inside her heart. Now's the perfect time to use Athena's power. You can hear it, can't you, Athena? The cries of Miss Wood's heart. Yes, they sound incredibly strained. She's so scared, I think she could collapse at any second. Athena has a unique ability, you see. Who are you telling this to yourself? With her finely tuned sense of hearing, she can hear the words of a witness's heart. In essence, she can sense how a person is really feeling from the tone of their voice. It's all up to Athena and her special ability now. Be terrified! I don't need a special ability to see that! Or hear that! Athena, I want you to use the analytical psychology you study and listen to the testimony of Miss Wood's heart. Okay, boss, I'll give it a go. After all, this is the whole reason I put all that effort into studying analytical psychology. How would you? How? It's German, right? Geets? Okay, the, the meaning is nice, but how the fuck am I supposed to pronounce it? Trep just retypes the word as is. That's how you pronounce it. Off get, off gets. Is what allowed? Off gets. Read it angrily and you'll sound German. Auf geht's, let's do this. Oh, but then I had a British voice. Auf geht's, let's do this. That's what a southerner sounds. Whoa, okay. Uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, Miss Athena, what in the hell? So your holographic thingamabob can show us how Miss Woods is feeling, right? Is this allowed in court? <sighs> That's a... <laughs> uh... I don't know. In theory, you can argue it's just an advanced computer, and you can have a computer in court. Well, yeah, she would be t here too, but that's only if she's testifying. That's only if she's arguing based on her 
the feeling that she's getting, which we don't know yet if that's what she's actually doing or if she's just like trying to discern fact from fiction. How she presents it to the judge is a whole other matter. Old man, this guy. <laughs> In a nutshell, yes. The emotions and images that I picked up on, picked up on just now while listening to her testimony. I can enter all that in the widget and use the move matrix to analyze it. The judge can't accept what? If she's trying to present the evidence as, look at what my thingamabob did. See, Your Honor? Look at what it says. You have to believe us now. Then, no, the judge is going to accept that without thorough explanation on why it works, or how it works, and why it works. Look at his graph! These mood markers here reflect fluctuations in Junie's motions. She feels happy or is enjoying the memory, the happy marker will light up. When she feels angry or frustrated, the angry marker will react. Who created this software? It's just in her widget? Who's the genius that created this? <laughs> when she feels sadness or is frightened by a memory, the sad marker will blink. Yeah, I fucking get it. Surprised! Yeah, okay. I know what emojis are. You can figure that out. So with your special ability and Widget's Mood Matrix program, that is incredible, we can track how Miss Woods is feeling as she testifies. Talk about the wonders of technology. And, okay, wonders is one word to use there. Yep, now let's give it a shot. Picking up on some kind of discord or noise in Junie's heart. See here? This is what the noise looks like in the Mood Matrix. The result of inconsistencies between her and her testimony and her feelings. We can pinpoint these inconsistencies, the noise level should drop. Okay, it's time to listen to Miss Wood's true testimony. On Junie's emotional state now. The power of Athena is incredible. I'm seeing an unexpected emotion that's inconsistent with the contents of her testimony. What? Already? Look at this. When she says it fell on top of me, the happy marker is reacting. Look at that. That is odd. How does somebody like save her? Happy and surprised. There must be a reason for this contradictory emotion. We just need to do some digging. We find an unexpected emotion. Tap the unexpected emotion from the four mood markers. Yeah, see, this is fine. It's just like it's just like Apollo's power. Apollo never said, he never went to the judge and said, Judge, Lamoir is clearing her throat rather aggressively in this particular statement. That means she's lying. They simply use it as a mechanism to then go dig further into that particular point of the testimony and then get the truth out. There's no problem with that. Like, you don't need expert establishment or foundation for that. Because that's not why, it's not the basis for your evidence that you're presenting. Widget is res registering joy when Miss Woods recalls the rubble falling on her. Must be a reason for this unexpected emotion. Miss Woods, 
As the rubble was falling, was there also something that made you feel happy? What? Mr. Wright, the feeling of happiness is spreading throughout Junie's heart. Keep going on this point, I bet Junie will start to calm down. Great, let's hear what she has to say. Um, just as I was about to escape the courtroom, the bomb went off. I was so startled. I tripped, and then rubble started falling on top of me. I really thought I was done for. But just then, wow, that is impressive. But just then, Apollo came and rescued me. Apollo? He used his own body to shield me from the rubble. So that's when he sustained those injuries. Emma's somewhere like, fuck. How do you feel, Junie? Talking about Apollo give you some courage. Yes, Apollo is just like the sun, strong and bright and warm. God damn. That is a strong connection to make there. Emma's too old for Apollo. Are you fucking kidding me? She's like 26 and he's 23. That was a joke, right? I can see why some people would ship Vera with Apollo. People like Vera who are super socially awkward and like don't make connections very easily are more likely to perhaps misconstrue kindness and helpfulness as romantic affection and thus they latch on to it. And even if they don't misunderstand it, they might just see that and go, I want that. Is she mentally, though? Because I remember Apollo Justice, and I'd argue that Emma's less mature mentally than Apollo is. We are talking about the girl that whenever she didn't get what she wanted, she would throw food at Apollo's face, right? We're talking about the same person? Emma Clavier is so boring. Oh, because she doesn't like him. Oh, great shit. He doesn't really add anything to her from his standpoint in that relationship dynamic. The whole thing is, oh, she doesn't like him. That's so simple. Gotta have more dynamic than that. Well, sure, because she, she called him a, a glamorous fop. So I think she understands, she recognizes, like, why he's popular. She just finds him fucking annoying. Bobby, I think, based on what I know, is an underrated character. 100%. From AJ, at least. People seem to not like him, and I don't understand. Like, I, I understand why, but I, I don't think it's a good reason to he's probably dumbfounded that she just compared Apollo justice to the sun glimmerous like you wouldn't call something that you thought uh, that was ugly glimmerous that's obviously like a beauty word and that's the thing she could just actually not like him in his personality and if they could hate fuck sure she could hate fuck him but if they were to ever actually be together it'd be nothing but an awful relationship that's not a good ship he's being facetious king like he knows that's not how it works
your Emma and Clavier's Junko in a <laughs> Uh, I think I'm on record as saying I'd hate fuck Junko too, so I can't really disagree. No, it's not on PC. I am playing it on PC, but I'm emulating the mobile version through BlueStacks. That's a very healthy thing to do, Maxim. Not enough people ship themselves. Everybody should be willing to ship themselves. Not to the extent of like how Kanye West ships himself, but you know, a good, healthy self image. I would date me. I think I'm a catch. I'd take that risk. This is a little bit of a thrill in that. Will she kill me? I don't know. If I'm good enough, she, she might not. That's a challenge. Well, does the mobile version have the, the DLC with it? Because if the normal mobile version has DLC, then this will too. If you're shipping people through the mail, that, I mean, that's basically human trafficking, yeah. Except for mail order brides, because that's done uh, voluntarily. Now, Tal can have Asuka. Tal's all over Asuka. <laughs> Amir. Thank you, Coulter. I appreciate it. I will have to say I'm not interested, but... Thank you for your kind words. Just talking about him makes me feel like a leaf undergoing photosynthesis. That's something. I need more of this. This is hilarious. And see, your coughing stopped all of a sudden. Or, er, and see, your coughing stopped all of a sudden. Oh, you're right. Thank you, Athena. Looks like we were able to draw out some new testimony. <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? I mean, yeah, I think they'd be cute from what I know about Junie so far, even though we just met her. I still like Emma and Apollo more. And it's not because they hate each other, it's because they have a really funny dynamic. And Emma's actually done stuff to suggest that she at least has some mild romantic interest in him. In my opinion, as a 36 year old male with some experience and a psychology major. My expert opinion. One side of infatuation. Well, we don't know. I guess we don't really know how Apollo feels about her. She, he, it's obvious that he cares for her to some degree, but we've only seen what he felt like in the very early before his wounds ripped open because he retched after give, being given an orange. Gumshoe Maggie's always going to be the fucking best. You are medically required to be her boyfriend. <sighs> Booty, we're talking about realistic ships here, right? Not fantasy land. Fantasy land in fantasy land. It depends on the, it depends on the defendant. Um, and what they're talking about, the way she's acting here wouldn't necessarily be considered bad. Um, but yes, I get where you're going with that. And there would be some instances where you should not smile or show some sort of glee. 
because that would come off as really bad to a jury. Why is he laughing? Strange. Probably like Azer. Probably. That's true. Emma might overload Apollo's sensory abilities. <laughs> but there's still some noise left, meaning there must be still still some discord in Junie's heart. Hmm. I guess we'll have to keep going then. Let me input this new information to update the move matrix and we'll be good to go. You remember what to do, right? When I find an unexpected emotion, I should touch pinpoint. Int? That's right, and then you tap the unexpected emotion from the move markers. You can find the reason for the discord in her heart. And we should be able to draw even more te new testimony out. Yeah, Gaspin's really just sitting across from us like... What's he doing? Oh, that's cool. Got it. You were happy when Mr. Justice rescued you, weren't you? Yes, I was really happy. Who gave her fucking needles as a defendant in the courtroom? There was also something you felt sad about at the same time. Yeah, they got hurt probably. Sad? The reason I ask is, well, this is what the computer said. When you were describing how you were rescued, we sensed a little sadness too. Dude, we are actually psychologists. Which is dumb and impractical in an actual court of law. But for me, my background it's actually kind of cool like that that is actually how we're talking to her I sensed a bit of sadness when you told me that why is that can you tell me more about that about What isn't allowed? Having like a couch discussion with with a patient? Yeah, you don't want to do that in court. Oh, is that popular? It's not really that popular here, I don't think. I think it's unfortunate. Oh, you mean like their line of questioning and stuff? I think it would be considered unusual, but I can't think of any reason, like, any reason off the top of my head that it would be strictly forbidden. Because it, it's reasonable to be like, oh, when you that testimony you sound a bit sad why was that or why is that like this is cross so you can be you can lead right but that's entirely different because we're not actually using we're not actually using the emotion she's feeling at the time to establish testimony. We are using her emotions at the time Let to the draw out begin. further testimony. Like that's the difference. It's not it's not evidence itself.
Yeah, you can't have a psychotherapy session in court. <laughs> right, strategy for questioning, not an actual argument. Right. Yeah, being active in stream gets you credits and hours. If you're, like, lurking, it doesn't track because it's stupid. Oh! I think it's probably because of Bum Rap Riney. Bum Rap Riney? What do you know? Something new. That's right. I, I brought my stuffed animal Bum Rap Riney to watch the trial with me. Bum Rap Riney and Phony Fancy are brothers. Who knew that the legal world could inspire a whole line of merchandise? Check out Students of Gaming Merchandise Store. You can find it in the description. That's that's actually one thing that I'm looking forward to. I'm gonna have some more time to like make custom designs for uh, merch. So happy. We want to do that for a while. Limited run merch. Truck coon. Something about oranges. It wasn't until the fall of saving I realized I'd lost him as I was running away. My poor Riney, a victim of that terrible bomb. Oh, I know. You can see what he looks like in this poster that I carry with me for some reason. No more bum raps. <laughs> It's liquid and solid snake. I don't think it's actually would be it's it wouldn't be spelled rap like that, right? Because isn't rap short for uh you're talking about rap sheets. Which is like your criminal history. And if it's bum if it's something that shouldn't be on, like it's, it shouldn't be on there. It's, it's wrong. Well, the rhino certainly looks like Phoenix and the, this certainly looks like Edgeworth. <laughs> yeah, at least. This is a campaign to eradicate fake evidence and false charges. Well, it's, it's not decisive proof, though, because we're still not sure if that tail came from which doll. But that was one of the things I brought up in the first place. Couldn't this just be another doll? Hey, Zod. But it, it's definitely enough where it's like, maybe we should bring both in. And now this cast, it's not decisive evidence anymore. That whole argument's been cast into doubt now. Hey, they're adopted brothers. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Or one's a mutant. Pony fans and bum rap Riley, huh? Nothing against the campaign, but why an elephant and a rhinoceros? Why not an elephant and rhinoceros? Mr. Wright, I don't sense any discord in Junie's heart anymore. So I guess that means we managed to draw out all her testimony. That's right. I'll just make an update with the info and we'll have the whole picture. Do you think your new testimony do you so do you think your new testimony will help? Absolutely. I don't know what I would have done without you, Athena. Probably the same thing I've always done to get evidence out. 
The bummer half Ryan was in that courtroom when the bomb went off. All you had to fucking ask her earlier is, did you have a stuffed animal with you? What was it? Oh, so not the thing that they say the bomb was in. Actually, to be fair, I'd say cute animals made Donald Trump. Like this is re this is a I get how they're introducing it. Athena's neat. The pain reveal was funny, but overall this is a very weak trial in terms of like just use your brain and we could have gotten out of this like 2 hours ago. Now that we know that, it changes the meaning of that other piece of evidence. All I have to do is present it at the right statement. Oh, that's cool. I, I love that. That's really cool. And you have the people, like, running. That's a nice little, uh... Wait, what, am I, what am I presenting? Right, but where do we present it? Is it the first statement? Yeah. Objection! Also, you wouldn't object here. But I don't want to harp on things that I've talked about a billion times in the other games. Miss Woods, I know this trial has been very hard for you, but you can relax now. You are, without a doubt, innocent. Mr. Wright, what wild assertion are you making now? My wild assertion is simply this. The two stuffed animals were mixed up. The tail the defendant's fingerprints were found on wasn't that of phony fanty. It was the tail of her gallery companion, Bum Rap Riney. Objection! What? What nonsense is that? Oh, great fucking objection there, Payne. I can see they're both stuffed animals. Yes, of course. You, you have to stipulate to that. It's a fact. But they're completely different characters. That's true. But let's look at their tails. An elephant and a rhino. They're as distinct as a defense lawyer and a prosecutor. But what if I told you that I could stop being a defense attorney and go be a prosecutor and prosecute the problem? Just like that. Dude, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> Just met Athena. I have no fucking idea. <laughs> Trap deleted your message. <laughs> But are they really so different? Both defense lawyers and prosecutors strive to protect the peace through law. And prosecutors can end up becoming defense lawyers and vice versa. With a bar, you know, with a bar license. We both went through the same goddamn education. Even elephants and rhinos have some similar characteristics. They're both gray, for example. Anyway, this post is all I need to prove my assertion to be true. If I may direct the court's attention here, you'll clearly see how the two got mixed up. Uh, just a, I've, I've kind of touched on this before, but I think I've talked about this more um, in Discord than I have in the uh, in the playthroughs. This right here, completely unnecessary, and it's considered really bad arguing to add words like this. They're just entirely unnecessary to your argument. Clearly, obviously, stuff words like that vary. You don't need words like that. I'll do it sometimes here just for the sake of exaggeration, but in court, that exaggeration is not appreciated. Take that! 
Well, if you look at that, the two tails are exactly the same. Yes, exactly. Two stuffed animals are based on entirely different animals. The design of their tails is exactly the same. See, now, this is correct, but Phoenix also isn't entirely correct to be like, ah, you're entirely innocent. It just casts doubt as to which one she actually had. Because now there's like, it could be either or, right? She could have had the one, or she could have had the other. The tails are the same, so she, it still could have been the bottom doll. That's true, Coulter. It probably does help with this judge to use those words that you wouldn't normally ever use with another judge. With, I know that when my opponent, I shouldn't say opponent. I don't really like looking at it like that. But when the opposing attorney is saying words like that, I know I'm in a good spot because they don't feel they don't feel very good. They don't feel good about their position. Those who feel good about their positions have no such need for extra fluffery. The design of their tails is exactly the same. Ugh! Order, order in the court. As long as the possibility exists that the tail belongs to Bum Rap Riney, we can no longer consider it be decisive proof that the defendant handled the bomb. All right, good job, Judge. As things stand, I consider the charges against the accused unsubstantiated. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Payne? Oh, um, yes, of course, Your Honor. Oh, that was great, Mr. Wright. You turned things right around. That's a huge smile. Yeah, it's not over yet, but at least we managed to hold out this long. Have a good one. We're not gonna be going much longer. Maybe like an hour, but like that it'd be like an hour tops. I mean, to be fair, when you know a judge, you do try to metagame them. You absolutely do that. And if you're not doing that, you're doing it wrong. Are they all the are they all the same like that? And if you're right, that makes perfect sense. I guess I guess I just thought they wouldn't be so perfectly similar. I mean if they found the old one, yeah. But we don't have it at this point, and we might not have. I get dehydrated, my back starts starts to get real starts to get really hot, like middle of the back. So I know I need to drink more water. Why? Why is this happening? Oh, you know what? I bet I know what happens. I need to get different code because I think what's happening is that it's putting all the it's putting all the the text vertically. No, it shouldn't do that. Something's up with the code that I have or got screwed up somehow. That's true. You don't really need to meta him. Just 
say something. It'd be like, you are the last person to have spoken. Just make sure the last person to speak. Hey, Luke. Well, it, we've been dealing with that all night. I just keep trying to go back to it when I have a second to see if it fixed itself. But I think I'm just going to need to redo it entirely. Hello, small marshmallow. This is a good. This is a good pursuit of thing. It, it's it's different. It's very distinct. I like that. Because like, while I do like when they have essentially up dated versions of some of the older stuff. I also like hearing new new takes. I believe that brings our proceedings for today to a close. Mr. Payne, I'm afraid you have some serious investigating ahead of you. Yes, Your Honor. Wait, what? Very well, let us reconvene tomorrow. Court is adjourned. A two day first trial? <laughs> Expectations blown away. That was so exciting, boss. We did it. All right, Athena fans. I want your, I want your honest truth. What do you think of the voice so far? It needs more Arnold. No. <laughs> a dick <laughs> no I'm not Wendy Lee I wish trap uh, it's good enough I guess that's okay I wanted your honesty that is your honesty I wish it were better well, trap let me ask you what would you do to make it better within what you know of my capabilities Needs more bottom left. Well, I, actually, I'm not. So I see what you're saying, Trap, and I'm actually. Consider what Devin just said. What's going to happen, and I'll tell you this is exactly what's going to happen because this has happened with all of the new voices that I tried. It starts off weak because I don't feel super synced with it. And the more that I do it, the stronger it'll get. And the more oof that'll be associated with it. Because I'll start to get more of like, I'll be more confident in adding its own little quirks. And like power and subtleties to it. So I guess if that's where we're at, then that'll, then that's probably fine. Okay, the last time I was told there's a person perfect for the Arnold voice, it was fucking what's her little fucking face from Great Ace Attorney and Dog's like, <laughs> give her the Arnold voice. Is this a, is there gonna actually be somebody that is good for the Arnold voice? Iris, yeah. That's true. You're not Magic Dog. <laughs> you you are a different person. Oh, is two spells the other one that he said I should do it for? <laughs> like, nah, man. You see her? There ain't no way I'm giving her the Arnold voice. It's hard to voice kids. Like, I just gave her a pearl voice that had an accent. There's not really too much I can do. No, see, Apollo is is young, energetic me. Phoenix is more of who I am now. That's how I look at it. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> He's turning 28. True to form, he managed to just barely pull it off at the last moment. True to form? Yeah, I never knew you had such a glowing opinion of me. Is that who I've become? Thank you for everything you're doing. You did great, Miss Woods. You really stuck it out. You really got, you got really brave at the end, just when we needed, the oh, God. And you got really brave at the end, just when we needed you the most, Junie. Thanks to you, you were, we were able to turn things around. Well, you were the ones who gave me that courage, Tina. Really? <laughs> Thanks. Uh, so, be honest, was I any help at all? What is this fucking face? Of course. Oh, you, we would never gotten out of that tight spot, Phoenix. Okay, I know you're like trying to be nice, but don't blow smoke up her ass. She was entirely unnecessary to figuring that case out. That's good to hear. I may still have a lot to learn, but you can bet I'm going to give it my all. I'll be so good that one day you'll call me your partner. That's what I like to hear. For real. You like that sort of uh, ambition. Analytical psychology, the ability to solve the riddles of a person's heart. But that's not analytical psychology. She used, she actually uses a fucking cheat device. Of course everyone's going to be better at analytical psychology if they have that fucking thing. Unless she programmed it herself. Could have. She be Johnny Depp's lawyer. <laughs> Well, let's put it this way. In most courtrooms, there isn't a distinctive defendant's lobby. There's just one lobby that everybody's in. You might have like a side conference room that you keep the defendants in, but you don't have your own special lobby. So it's nice that they do that. See, the thing is, is that the, the problem is that if you're the judge, what are you going to object to and disallow? Like, it's an aid, but is it any more an aid than a normal computer would be? You wouldn't object to a, like, a, a, like a laptop being used. I guess if I'm the judge, I just, I don't know what I would say in terms of, you can't use that. Why? Ugh. It's cheating. I used to be respected. People took me at my word. Then I became a lawyer representing Amber Heard. Objection, hearsay. Oh my God, I don't have a case. Where do you find all these? You are just the meme hunter. That is hilarious. No, oh, he just. It's not a normal song. That's a meme song, right? This is like a rap lyric. I like to throw references. I mean, its true potential is beginning to really shine through. Hey, where's Apollo anyway? Probably the hospital. I almost forgot about him. I'd assume he'd still be here in the lot. Why? He's bleeding. Why hasn't he been sent to a clinic at the worst? Well, I know, maybe he's still in courtroom number four. Yeah, instead of a hospital, since he's bleeding out, that's a great idea. Courtroom number four, what would he be doing at the scene of the explosion? I came out of the lobby to rest, I told Paul about bum rap Briny. I told him I dropped Briny in the courtroom as I was trying to escape before the blast. And then... Apollo said he had an idea where Ryan might be, so we went to take a look together. 
Huh, I guess Powell can be pretty nice when he wants to be. He's always nice. He was gonna defend her. He started bleeding through his bandages. He shouldn't be here. Oh my god. Shut up. So you went looking for Ryan. So you went looking for Ryan together before you were called back into courtroom number five? Yes. I had some time to rest, so I was able to go and look for him. Fun fact. Um, we don't refer to the courtroom numbers here. At, I mean, here in Wisconsin, it's probably different other places. We don't refer to the courtrooms as courtroom number. Each courtroom is a different branch. And that's how you associate the room and the judge. Branch 10, branch 5, branch 4. That's how that works. Yes, I had some time to rest, so I was able to go back and look for him. And then they called me in the courtroom number five to testify. Apollo insisted on staying there, though. With all those injuries? I wonder how he's managing. Probably poorly. I think Apollo might have figured something out. I wonder what it was. You'd think he would have came into the courtroom and told me if he had. He told me I'm going to look for evidence to clear your name, Juniper. Okay, fair. So he's looking still. Just maybe he found some new piece of evidence. He's looking for a new piece of evidence. He didn't find it, or we'd know already. Anyway, we better go and get him. Good idea. It'd be devastating for the prosecution if he recovered Riney. Devastating. Because their whole case is based on the idea that her fingerprints were on the doll that had the explosive. Without that, they have nothing connecting. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, she doesn't like when the court gives false charge and she was falsely charged. So, I mean, that's pretty good motive. That, like, 100 million other people would also have. Come on, I know you're... <gasps> no! God damn it! Wow, whoever could have foreseen this. His coat's awesome, by the way. Is he dead? And yeah, we ain't got a scream. Holy shit, is that Muse VA? Yeah, Muse is Wendy Lee. <laughs> Devin. <laughs> See, I don't think so. I mean, I've been, I've been, so I've been editing the Apollo Justice videos recently. I think he, he's come off as pretty, like, well mannered. Like he, he's kind of an asshole to Trucy sometimes, but that's because he gets frustrated with her. And also Phoenix because he's like, kind of mad at Phoenix, but like everyone else, he's pretty pleasant to, or like. Outright meek. No, he is not, thank God. I was in retrospect, I was very pleased with how often Apollo's like, this is not okay. I mean, that's true. His, his inner monologue is different from how he actually... Because he makes a lot of smart-ass comments to himself. But that's it. He doesn't actually... I mean, I make smart-ass comments about you all all the time. Under, you know, to my... I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I mean, we all do that, right? Like, we might have a smart-ass comment about somebody in our mind, but we don't say it. Because we're not assholes.
I mean, that means you would all be double S tier, though. Because Gumshoe, that l that lovable big old bear, he's a, he's he's double S tier. Hey, young go. Oh. Start calling you Yang the Butts. For no other man knows butts greater than you. Even me. Even me. Thank you for the $5 Aussie. I should get a, uh, I gotta keep the Final Fantasy thing for, um, uh, Twitch, but I should get a, uh, an Ace Attorney thing for donations now. I have it for subs and members. It's just me. This isn't exactly how I envisioned it second day of this trial to start. Given how things ended yesterday. Oh, dude, are we not investigating? That's interesting. I mean, it makes sense. It's not a criticism. They found Apollo perhaps dead. Um, so, like, how are they going to investigate after that? Good morning. Whoever said their, express their expressions are clean was 100% correct. Like, not just like, like the eye movements are re especially really good. Food sure is tense. Not that that's a surprise. It is cool. It's just interesting. I understand why they did it with the way the story is playing out. It's just, it's really, it feels weird to have a second day and have not done any additional investigation. It, it makes it really interesting to see, like, what's going to happen. Normally, we go to an investigation, we get additional evidence, and then we're able to use that the next day. We didn't get to do that this time. So what's going to happen? Oh, hey, did you read the paper this morning, boss? Huh? The paper? It came out of left field. That's like the most like basic small talk you can ask beyond, oh, rough weather we're having. You didn't read it? And you didn't know the big news. Somebody spotted an abominable snowman way up in the mountains. Tell me you know the difference between a paper and a tabloid, Athena. I'd show up in the forest where you live, Junie. You better watch out, okay? That scares me. Yeah, that's not the greatest thing for you to You really should read the story for yourself. I couldn't even begin to do it justice. It'd be for a dono, like, I, ha I actually have one for subs. Somebody unsub and resub and you'll see it. I if you have your subs public, because if you're private, it won't, it won't register. Oh my God. Poor choice of words is correct. And there goes Trep doing a Trep after claiming he doesn't do Treps. Justice! Huh? Oh. Oh, poor Apollo! It's all my fault! <laughs> it's not your fault that he decided to do that in his condition. That was on him. How do you avoid saying that in a legal sitting? In a legal setting? Um, I can tell you that I've said the word justice in a legal setting less than a handful of times.
right around yeah right ah. oh i only hit six random letters not 12 capitalized no it doesn't have to be any specific character We have Phoenix is the sub. Edgeworth is the member. So yeah, in terms of don't know whatever. It's open. Tina. Oh, Chuni, what was I thinking? I'm so sorry. He's not dead, or Athena would be devastated. What we found yesterday was not Apollo's dead body, thank goodness. What we found yesterday was not a dead person, thank God. <laughs> He'd been assaulted by someone with a blow to his head. Oh, so he didn't just like pass out because he was a moron. Somebody actually attacked him. It was lying unconscious. Rushed into the hospital right away. It looks like he's going to pull through. But it was still quite a sh shock to someone to see. Dude, that is really bad. He was he got injured as a part of explosion, and then the next day got hit over the head. That's some probable CTE there at some point. Even hip hop been struck by a smooth criminal, which is ironic because this guy is not smooth at all. We already know who who did it. Like, dude is the most rigid criminal I've ever seen. I thought he was just passed out. Like, I guess the problem is that if you put more, like, blood around his head, then it's, like, kind of unrealistic. As, like, he probably would have, like, he would have had to have been dead at that point, right? I guess if he, I guess what you could have done is, like, had a trail of blood, like, from the hairline going down would probably have been the best way to do it. Okay. I'm not a smart man, but I'm not a dumb man either. There are a few things that pointed towards your screaming of dead Apollo as ringing false in my mind. Number one, too many people were doing it. Too many people were crying foul a little too readily. It would seem historically speaking that if something really happened people are more focused on my reaction to it than the actual action and result that occurred number two no mods did anything to remove any of those messages and if it had been a spoiler they most certainly would have that happened at the very beginning when the explosion happened god i gotta get what's his face that his over southern accents fucking amazing daniel craig and thirdly and thirdly, quite frankly, I just hold y'all in higher regards than that, than having so many people message that. Most, most of y'all's are holding pretty high regards. What is what did Maxim do? You banned Maxim. <laughs> Great idea. Ban. <laughs> oh, I'm glad that we can have these laughs. Uh 
I know some people will like. I I like when command when communities can have that sort of fun. Uh, you know. It can be fun as long as it's not overdone. Timing is everything. All right, Maxim, I saved you. Thank me later. Oh, wait, you guys can? Unban? I thought you guys couldn't unban. Oh, as long as the message is still chat. Okay, I got you. The, the problem before with the man is that his messages had already been gone. But it was still quite a shock to stumble onto a scene like that. Is Miss Woods all right, Athena? Well, I managed to get her to stop crying. Now she's resting on the sofa over there. I should really feel responsible for what happened to Apollo. How deeply conceited of her. Poor Junie. She believes that the reason Apollo was attacked because he was helping her look for something in that courtroom. Well, that's true, but that's not her fault. It was still his choice. Oh, did, did Amadeus say the, the VNA? Oh, if Amadeus said the VNA, we know what happens. It is, it is Amadeus' thing to say, specific. That was literally Amadeus' like name in a Discord for a while. Thank you, Lugia. It is its own kind of narcissism. People don't want to admit it, but it is. Like, you have to understand, it, I'm, and I say that as a big offender of that for a long time. You have to understand that You didn't control that. You're not powerful enough to control that. If you think you are, that's ridiculous. People have their own free will. They made their choice. They didn't have to do that. It's Apollo's fault more so than anyone else's. It's not her fault enough that she should be blaming herself. She should feel for him. She can feel very sad that it happened. But blaming herself, that's conceited. Right, people don't revolve around you. Yes, I would agree that sometimes it is more of an anxiety thing, but that's still born out of insecurity. Because the anxiety is insecurity. Thank you, Tal. We were talking about Oscar earlier. I hope uh, you're okay with me saying that she ships with you greater than everyone else. Will I be playing the Professor Layton crossover eventually? So, if we hit a certain... We hit a certain incentive, we will. I guess I'd have to reveal that incentive, but... I'm actually kind of torn between two different incentives. So that's why I haven't said anything yet, because I'm not sure which one is more reasonable. Because it's a crossover non-canon game, I want to give, like... Like, oh, I want to see that people would, you know... Uh, you can most certainly be prideful and have self-doubt. Pride can come out of arrogance, which arrogance is about having self-doubt, but putting forth confidence. It's like a false confidence. 
Well, that was the thing. Light said he would be taking Masato, and he'd give me Asuka. And I said, Asuka's 100% towels. Oh, prideful of self-doubt. Okay, I see what you're saying. But yes, it, it's what Idris is saying. It's more self-centeredness. They're not saying that they're prideful of self-doubt. It's arrogance, though. And what is arrogance? Self-doubt dis dis disguised as confidence. So it's not a direct sort of like line of thinking there. It can be both. Narcissists can be very like inherently self-doubtful and insecure. In fact, narcissism is bred from insecurity. If you're secure, you have no reason to be so narcissistic. The security is a healthy feeling. Narcissism is overcompensation. Kanye West is both a narcissist and has an inferiority complex. I think that should be fairly obvious, right? sure no I, I don't agree I don't disagree with that other people can be the cause of something they, they, they can be the cause of stuff but in this particular instance Apollo made a choice on his own that he did not need to make the consequences are on him not the person he was trying to help You don't have to differentiate everything. I guess that's the problem I have with the way you're looking at it. You seem to think that they have to be different, distinctly different ideas. They're not. They're not all exclusive from each other. In fact, a lot of them are inclusive. Narcissists are egotistical. People that are is egotistical can also be insecure. I have no problem with giving it a shot. It's just, I don't think it's unreasonable for an incentive to have to be met to play a non-canon game. I don't really have much incentives for anything. A lot of other people do, and I feel like it works for them. And I feel like I probably should do that more often. But I, Try not to when it comes to like core stuff. Like I did, like I could have been like, well, we're not gonna play Dual Destinies until I get 50 members. But I wasn't gonna do that with a core game. First of all, because I don't wanna play it anyways, really. Bad. I just don't think that's okay. But when it comes to like extra stuff like that, I think that's fine. That's reasonable.
Oh, it's fine. And it's it's very probable that I misinterpreted your line of questioning as being combative as opposed to inquisitive. And if so, I apologize. Well, but I'm not saying she's a narcissist. You can do things that are narcissistic, but you're not a narcissist. I do things that are narcissistic, but I'm not a narcissist. I'm just saying, I'm just saying that her line of thought here is very conceited. But I'll also say that narcissists can present themselves in different ways. Some of them will present themselves significantly better than others. Hey guys, I got a question for you real quick. We'll continue on. Uh, do any of you know or have heard of Friendly facade. I got an email from It's, I mean, it sounds, I, I had not had anybody suggest this to me or like talk about it being development. So I was interested. The name of the game is friendly facade, not like talking about the concept of facades. Uh, we've been working on our visual novel friendly facade since 2017, inspired by games like Dying Rampa and Your Turn to Die. We want to take, tackle the killing game genre from a different light. Uh, put a lot of passion and hard work. To this point, we're proud to launch Chapter 1 for free on our Steam page. Fans of the work that you've done in the visual novel community, we'd be honored if you take a few moments out of your day to check out our page. While only Chapter 1 is available now, the rest of the game is under is actively under development. It just like hearing that the game has been under development for five years, I'm like, oh shit. I was thinking about picking that up. But I was curious as to whether anybody else had, had heard of it before. That's not going to affect whether or not I'm going to pick it up. I'm just curious. How coincidentally topical. <laughs> yeah, right? Perhaps then all of us should come in. I mean, if they're giving away chapter one for free, why not? Uh, that's a good question. In the email, it's just labeled as friendly facade development team. If that's the only thing they're working on, maybe that emergence game. In this visual novel, Maggie Crane and 15 others are invited to partake in the Isolated Society Study, where they must forge a peaceful society while attempting to outsmart each other in complex challenges. Just as the study is about to conclude, the Golding, Fo the Golding Foundation introduces a sinister twist. Oh, I can definitely see the Danganronpa uh, inspiration in the video. The original name was Distrust? I didn't know. Or somebody told me a long time ago. Right? I'm known in the visual novel community. 
Not what I ever thought would happen when I started this channel. Most of us have felt that way on the days. And the fact that you... I've talked to my sister about it. She said, the fact that you... are concerned over that... is probably a good indication that you feel... That you have, you, that you are genuine. Because if you weren't concerned, because if you weren't genuinely nice, why would you ever be concerned about it? Not that you couldn't, but it just wouldn't make much sense. Process of elimination. That's that's a very descriptive title. I've said we've done we we'll, we'll do like fan games and other like offshoots before. I, I don't want to play Ghost Trick, which I don't. Hey, I don't. So they are no, I, it, it makes sense. It's just, I mean, I didn't start playing Ace Attorney till four years after I started this channel. It was obviously not a. It was never something that I had ever planned on doing. I never talked. I never talked about being a lawyer until about a year into streaming. Because I was worried about revealing that sort of information. And it was only then that people were like, oh, have you ever heard of Ace Attorney? I'm like, I don't know what that is. True, I, I, I had seen references of Phoenix Wright before, but I had no idea what they were. I'm definitely playing Rain Code. I, 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 some people are like, uh, like I love the look of Rain Code. Yeah, there's, yeah. It's, it's healthy. Be like, I'm genuine. I care and that's good. It's, it's, it's hard to find that off switch. But eventually, I mean, you're still really young. It took me till probably like two years ago to finally get that consistent. I was 34. Well, I mean, it's not that I'm a student of law. I was a student of gaming. I was already a lawyer. Yeah, sometimes you'll get those emails that seem kind of weird. I don't know what you're talking about. This one seems pretty... Like, they have a YouTube channel. Like, this one seems pretty legit. Hey... And it's not like they're asking for anything. Like, this is one that just say, hey, we release chapter one. I'd love if you take a look at it. It's free. Oh, so, you know. Speed ram character development. There's nothing wrong with that. Some people are just faster than others. And that's good. That's good that you were able to do it at an advanced pace. I wish I could. I'm certainly not going to hate on anybody that was able to do it faster. It's just, it's just better for society for that sort of thing to happen quicker. Oh, good luck on your driving lesson. God, I was terrified. The first time I went out driving with my instructor, I was fucking terrified. Because we had so much time at home all of a sudden. I started before the pandemic. Oh, by the way, there there has to be some new Ace Attorney video that like got popular because all of a sudden my smash or pass videos got like 400 views 
for the past like three days and that only happens if it starts getting linked to some, like some other video that's blowing up so i love when other lawyer videos blow up because that's when like all of a sudden i get recommended They haven't mentioned it yet, JB. I'm sure they will. Oh, the guy who was the one that got upset at the original autopsy report, the updated autopsy report thing. That's how I got my first influx of viewers. I got a huge... That's the biggest influx of, of subs I've ever had was when that, up, that updated autopsy video blew. Yeah, I mean, that's the mature way to look at it. I can get better, but I'm happy with who I am now. Hey, boss, I'm not done yet. Apollo just assaulted. Yeah, that's why I, like, I'm not jealous. I'm not, I don't hate. Not like, hey, all of y'all attorneys that are playing something with Ace Attorney, blow up so that I can be putting your recommendeds. Let's do it. Hope you all succeed. Because when you succeed, I succeed more. I mean, the first trial of AJ lasted, it was like a six hour stream almost. So like, it's not that long, relatively speaking. Okay, now, now it's time to start with the game again after that, <laughs> that fucking cut. I like Athena so fun. She's fun. I like how she's super goofy. Oh, I guess I can see why she thinks that. By the way, how are you doing? Who, me? Yeah, you. I know you're concerned about Miss Woods, but are you all right? Me? I'm doing just fine, boss. I mean, yeah, it was a huge shock, but I'm all right. People who study analytical psychology are great at things like these. <laughs> Bullshit. The whole reason we've study psychology is because we're bad with things like that. It's our way of coping with our shortcomings. After all, they learn how to control their own emotions too. That's also a load of shit. Somehow I don't think it's as easy as she makes it sound. But there's no denying she's a real trooper. Paul doesn't remember a thing, does he? Yeah, can't recall anything from the time right before he was assaulted. Nothing about what he was doing in the courtroom number four. Who assaulted him? The doctor says probably due to that hit he took to the head. Don't have to tell me. I did an entire trial with amnesia because of that. <laughs> there it is. There it fucking is. Who in the world would do such a thing, huh, Mr. Wright? I wonder. Who's in the actual bomber, maybe? <sighs> Just wait till I get my hands on the coward who hurt our, our Apollo. Oh no, Athena. Uh, you said you were in control of your emotions. Let's just focus on helping Miss Woods, okay? But I admit I'm just as upset as you. I have to be the adult. There's no possible suspect. Done by a ghost. I don't get, see, I don't get the idea of playing a game that you're not going to enjoy for being a game. Let me just play this game so I can shit on it for not being, of course it's not real law. Because if you're a lawyer, you know that a real law game would be boring as fuck. Like the faux, like, oh my God, I can't believe how Weird it is. It's just, it's bullshit. I knew going into these games there was going to be differences. Now, the differences themselves make me mad. Seeing this, because I'm like, man, think of living in a society where this is how it was. But, like, being like, oh, this isn't real. Of course it's not real law. It was never going to be real law. That's why it's a video game. A real lawyer simulator would be boring. None of you would want to play it. Trapped in it. 
like that's just why that that's why I've never been interested in in watching a lot of the reactions myself because like no I'm gonna sound like I'm not interested in your reactions to Ace Attorney games unless you can have fun like it fun with them like I do because I think that's how games are to be taken even if they're a poor reflection of your profession. Like the updated autopsy thing, for example. Like, that's funny. Everybody's gonna have that reaction. Like, I can't believe that's an actual thing. <laughs> like, it's not that he's upset that the game has something that deviates from real law but it's very specifically how it's deviating that makes it so funny and unbelievable but you can still have fun with that and that's what happens and that's why that video blew up because I think that was a good example of like that's fun he's having fun with it it's a, that's good One guy dropped the game because of the burr. I thought the burr was hilarious. Dumb, but hilarious. Like, I just, I feel like you're not, like, you're not, you, you weren't playing, you weren't ever playing a game then. If you, if, if that was your thing. Okay, boss, you're right. Paul's assailant can wait until after we clear Junie's name. That's the spirit. It's not at all possible that the assailant and Junie's, you know, accus the allegation towards Junie's are connected at all. Now let's see. I'm gonna check the court record one more time before the trial starts. Memory serves when I have more than six pieces of evidence. To be able to switch pages with the... What? Oh. Okay. I thought they were going somewhere else with that. I should be able to switch pages with this panel. Earth to Mr. Wright, I'm ready whenever you are. Alright, let's get ready to rumble. You bet. his grounds to be dismissed from jury duty. You know, that's really interesting. If you're in Wadir and you're like, are any of you familiar with the Ace Attorney series of video game? Everybody's like, like three people are like, and I'm like, strike, strike, strike. Yeah, when Phoenix came, they switched the perspectives. Everything that happened with Apollo, I didn't have time for a proper investigation. Can't let that stop me, though. Lack of evidence? That's not gonna stop me. But I have to get this right, for Miss Wood's sake and Apollo's, too. Imagine you were in a case about Ace Attorney, like in an Ace Attorney case, there'd be a problem. I'd be more competent than any other attorney in this game. Be a slaughter. Yeah, that's true. Wait, what do you mean? About the game? The Veteran Crusher. Yeah, because I'm, I know how to appeal to this judge. Oh, like there was a real case that involved the game?
Oh, like Capcom hired me. Oh, that'd be awesome. As like a consultant or something. That'd be sick. The mystery within each trial, uh, Possum, because, I mean, the process is pretty trash in general. That, and I'm, at this point, the process has been pretty much the same throughout each game. The only difference we've really had so far has been the jury system in Great Ace Attorney. That's really, that's really the, the biggest variation we've had. What if they put you in the, well, of course, I would think that'd be awesome. Love it. Put me in the game. I'd already made the old timey sprite of me. By old timey, I mean like old Ace Attorney stuff, though. Like early DS. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Quote, we're now reconvened for the trial of Juniper Woods. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is also ready, Your Honor. Now then, I believe I instructed the prosecution to further, inve to further their investigation. Were you able to locate the remote switch in question? I'm afraid the remote switch is still missing, Your Honor. Okay. I must say I'm disappointed, Mr. Payne. Not angry. Just disappointed. The worst. When your parents are... They're not angry. They're just disappointed. It feels worse. I'd prefer you be angry. This is also ridiculous. I feel for pain here. There is no goddamn way that you should be disappointed because you had one extra day. Suddenly, you expect, oh, you should be able to find it within 24 hours that you haven't been able to find already. I apologize, Your Honor. Aha! Looks like the prosecution is just as unprepared as I am. So what's gonna happen for this day? If I'm the judge, I'm like, I guess we gotta adjourn again. There is a separate matter, however, that I would like to bring up during this trial. A separate matter, you say? And what might that be? I assume you are unaware that another incident occurred during yesterday's trial? I'm speaking, of course, of the assault on Mr. Justice in the ruins of court room number four. Oh my god, if he blames our client. Uh-oh, why is he bringing that up? Yes, what a truly harrowing experience it must have been for Mr. Justice. At the time of the attack, Mr. Justice was not alone. He was with the def- He was with the defendant, Ms. Juniper Woods. He isn't going where I think he's going with this, is he? The prosecution wishes to indict Ms. Woods on the charge of Mr. Justice's assault. Well, that's an entirely different case. You can't indict somebody in court. That's not how that works. You have to file the indictment. That's what makes it an indictment. But I know, I know, there's actually precedent to this in the games. Because that's what happens when we then, well, actually no, it's a little different. Because we'll like accuse somebody else, right? But that's not an official indictment. Because they still say that they have to have their own trial separately. Even for a different crime, like uh, at me, they had to have a separate trial for it. They didn't just simply say, all right, we're going to couple this in and we're going to figure this all out in one big swoop. The 
prosecution misses to indict Mrs. Woods on the charge of Mr. Justice's assault. It's not the, it's not the same pain, but he is old. So it's. Order, order in the court. Mr. Payne, the, in, the incident under deliberation here is the courtroom bombing. Assault on Mr. Justice has nothing to do with this trial. Uh, but I believe there is a connection between this case and Mr. Justice's assault. Please take a moment to consider these facts. Both events occurred in court number four. So does it mean the judge just goes, okay, we added this whole nother case. Let me make a case number up for this. And then we, okay, now it's connected. That's not how that works. This is the location in courtroom number four where the unconscious Mr. Justice was discovered. As you can see, it's quite close to where Detective Arb's body was found. Such a goddamn pain. <laughs> the question is, why did the culprit feel the need to maliciously attack Mr. Justice? Allegedly. Allegedly. Why indeed. Why do you believe them? What do you believe their motive to be, Mr. Payne? I believe Mr. Justice found something in that courtroom while Miss Woods was with him. Evidence that fingered her as the perpetrator of the bombing. Oh yeah? Do you have that evidence? Because if you don't, that's super conjecture. You mean he found some incriminating evidence? Precisely. So I surmise, speculate, that the defendant picked up a piece of rubble and hit Mr. Justice on the back of the head in order to silence him. Objection! Judy would never do such a thing. She was devastated when we found Apollo hurt like that. Uh, Miss Sox, please control your outburst. <laughs> There's a prosecution's speculation that by deliberating on Mr. Justice's assault, we will draw ever closer to the truth of the courtroom bombing itself. Very well. Miss Woods is hereby officially indicted on the charge of assaulting Mr. Justice. Even though I actually have no power in my capacity as judge to do this myself. What? Why are you listening to Mr. Toupe over there? Considering our conversation yesterday. Maybe the two incidents really are related, after all. I would like to start by hearing from the defendant herself. Very well. Bailiff, pre please bring Miss Woods to the witness stand. I'm sorry. I can't seem to stop. It's not gonna make it better. Miss Woods, yet she's still really upset about Apollo. Poor, poor, what was her fault? Oh, there, Phoenix. Do you think that whole 15 minutes she had in between when you saw her hysterically crying and now was gonna be enough for her to get over it? Miss Woods, you went to the ruins of courtroom number four with Mr. Justice, did you not? Yes, I did. Good, good. If you would then please testify about what happened to the court. That's a good place to stop. <sighs> okay. So. Next week, Friday. Hopefully we'll conclude. I'm assuming we'll conclude. There was a lot of catching up to do today. So I'm assuming the pace will be a little fast. Initial takeaways, like Athena, uh, the graphics are better than I expected. People made it seem like after I played Great Ace Attorney, that I was going to think this was like dog shit. And I 
don't uh, I disagree. I mean, eight great ace attorney is better, but this is still good. Um, Phoenix is great. Love how he came in like fucking Stone Cold Steve Austin. Judge has been okay. Pain sucks, but that's not surprising. Uh, the general look, the different look is cool. Uh, yeah, I guess I can't really give too many. Oh, the system, the, the Athena system is interesting. Uh, I don't, I'm, I'm not a psychologist, but I have a degree in psychology. So I, I want to look at that. That That's interesting from that standpoint. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we don't really know anything else until we, because we haven't finished the case yet. This case is dog shit. <laughs> that whole system was completely unnecessary. But other than that, still all the new stuff is still keeping my attention. But the, that that was that first day went on way longer than it needed to. Yeah, mood matrix. Yeah, thank you to Young uh CJ for the donos. Thank you to Incog Lightgazer, uh, Techie, Ivan, and CJ for your re ups and membership. We'll be back next week, same time. Same time. We might get second stream in somewhere, but for now, just assume these streams will happen every Friday. Let's get it! Let's get it! Let's get it! Let's get it! Let's and Trep. Thank you for that real 25 months? That's such a lie. Aren't haven't you been here like four months longer than that? Or is that or is 25 months correct? <laughs> so yeah, thank you to Easy for the raid. I don't think we had No, it's yeah, it's just easy. Uh yes, thank you, Easy for the Raid. 25 is right. Okay, it is working. All right, so I'll be back next week. Yeah, look out for any announcements about any additional streams that happen. Again, for now, just Friday. Yeah, thanks again. Oh, special shout out to my mods for putting in overtime. That seemed exhausting. Thanks, guys. All right, everyone. Have a good one. I'll see y'all next time.